Oh, that's fucking funny, yeah, isn't it? Dick is your job. Can we have <laughs> Bell Haha -ha as an actual channel emote? No. Good, yeah. And we'll have we'll it add fucking quality. we'll it, add fucking. It looks like a fucking Resident Switch Beanie globally, as well. Let's be honest. Please not. I'll say please not Koiba <laughs> Wait. It's so bad. Oh, we'll add Koiba Wait as well. Yeah, if you it. just yeah. if you just crop Koiba Wait a little better, it'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It'll be okay, guys. It'll be okay. Uh, hey. Hey, Howdy, everybody. Howdy, uh, Dark Man. Hell music. <laughs> Today. Hell music. Uh, we're here for Dungeon Select. Last we left off, nothing really interesting happened. Last week was fine, guys, right? Yeah, nothing happened. We're just gonna keep happened. going as I if nothing fly. ever happened. How about that? Ah, okay. I've always been this character. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, What's in the name fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you give us a pronunciation guide on that one? I gave some we'll find it later. We'll find it later. We'll find it out. later. You'll find out. Um. Hey everybody, it's Sunday. Welcome to Dungeon Select. We're all here. Gang's all here. Um, whoop, whoop. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you guys had a great week. Whatever it is you did. Hope it was sick and awesome. And uh, let's... Uh, I was you know. sick. And I awesome. Sick. Yeah. So. Yo, pound it, Soko. Stop it. So this was Dungeon Select for the evening. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll, uh... <laughs> oh, I mean, bye. we peaked right there, so we might as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah true, 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 true. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> Um, before we do anything, any announcements? Anyone have anything that they want to share with the class? Yeah. Uh, I, I posted a graphic finally for it on Twitter, and it's my pinned tweet. But uh, February 24th to 28th, I'm raising money with SideQuest for the Trans Women of Color Collective. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm, for part of that four-day campaign, I will be hosting a Blood Hunt tournament uh, with various members of Team SideQuest. And we have spots open because we're getting a custom server just for us for the tournament so we got lots of room to fill so if any trusted blood hunt enthusiasts would like to join hit me up um or it's going to be in duos so we're going to be paired with someone and Yo, the prize dude i'm low the prize people, for the I'm, tournament i'm down, I'm down. the prize for the tournament the is a 25 dollar gift card to sizzle popcorn courtesy of me as well as a donation to the charity campaign in your name and saying that you won the tournament so gonna be a good time that's that's happening on saturday the 25th only downside for all you european peeps it's happening from 5 to 10 p.m eastern time so it'd be like 10 a 10 p.m to 3 a.m for y'all don't sleep anyways so it's fine i'm just saying uh so yeah and then the second part of that infographic is on my birthday i'm doing a 12 hour birthday stream and Ooh. there's going to be a tip goal to help me with the custom dice wedding favors james and i want to do for the wedding and if we hit the tip goal then i will give away one of the wedding favors to a, a viewer someone who donated to the goal so you can win one of the favors to my wedding even though you're Wait, not going to go so that tournament is saturday you said <laughs> yes the when, 25th. When, oh, it's not next Saturday. It's the one after. I was going to say. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. yeah, we have D&D next, we have, yeah, we have next yeah, Saturday. Yeah, we have right? Nether Deep next Beautiful. Saturday. Yes. Barring, okay. hopefully, knock on wood. We, we do have one of our players is in the late stages of pregnancy. Very pregnant. So plans could be yeah. changing at a moment's notice. Very so. much like due date <laughs> is in a couple of weeks kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that could... That'll be fun. In theory, <laughs> we're playing Paul the Nether Deep next Saturday. In theory, yeah, but. yeah. <clears throat> You know, unless, unless, unless the baby decides that today's the day, you know what I mean? But, uh, hey, unless baby wants to join the campaign. always happen at the exact time you know? they're supposed to, okay? Yeah, yeah, There's no baby ever gets born early, too late or too early, that is true. Yeah. Oh, it's always on time. Mm -hmm. You can plan exactly. It's like a wizard. A wizard? A wizard? It'll arrive precisely when it means to. All right. Anyways, yeah, those are my announcements. Charity campaign, birthday stream, and D&D &D next Saturday. That is oh, yeah, a dungeon baby. select. Uh, dude, I have a little, 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 little D&D... &D anecdote for you guys uh we had mm -hmm. i play in a campaign dm by vincent who you know uh, who played sai in our in our campaign uh, we're playing tomb of annihilation and there's this fucking npc right hope knows yo she's hyper and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and like vincent so like accidentally teased that like by showing one of her moves in roll 20 that she was a hybrid and i've been theorizing about like dude this this what, what okay hybrid what is she what is she what is she and then we had to do this quest like for a hybrid her. race or a hybrid class like a like a, a race Okay. Like so, a simic hybrid? Is that the... No, no, no. So, so, and, and we had to find thing. this, like, tiger like half, half. mask for her for, like, an entire time. I was like, dude, is she a were-tiger? She's a were-tiger. She's a fucking were-tiger, isn't she? And I've just been fucking uh. on Vincent's balls, cock and balls, 
ever since, like, dude, when's she gonna fuck a tiger out, bro? I know she's a were tiger. Fucking hit me with him. <laughs> and it finally fight. happened! Yeah. We were in a fight. Yeah. A lot of people were unconscious because they got put to sleep, and she turned into a fucking were, were tiger, and I was right! And it was just very pocked. Yo, but uh, she do be a hybrid, though. She do be a hybrid, though. And my character <laughs> wants to smash. Um, <laughs> but okay. Um, yeah, so, well, I was right. I'm not crazy, guys. Oh. This time. This time. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, anything else? Announcements? We finished Divinity after like a 60 plus hour. Yeah, we did. Kind of yeah, we fucking did. And that last one, so about it. fucking people are running, dude. Look at them. Beanie's upset. <laughs> don't, um, don't talk to no, me has, about it. He has a McDonald's delivery at the door. He's got to go. <laughs> <It's so much. laughs> like oh, 60 hours oh, yeah. of Divinity. 20 hours of which was us shitting on Beanie. 10 hours of which was Beanie just heading with his turns. It was a great fucking time. Um, <laughs> it's a shame I couldn't decide what to do with my turns in the final fight. Okay, well, in my... In, okay, you... you I want to set the record straight, right? Because you got really pissy with me. Like, oh, you, you betrayed me. I hit you once. I hit you, you and, yeah, and then down. and that no, and I skipped did. my no, turn. I didn't. No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I crippled, yeah, did. I crippling strike struck you, and then I tried to knock you down, but because you were an ally of mine, both my battle storm and my work. thing battle yeah. didn't work. No, okay. So I hit Fair. you, and then you just took Abil, all of my shields. Abil went to fucking town. True. And uh, that was so the end of that chapter. Even if I wouldn't have hit you that one time, you would have still fucking get gotten ganked by the. And then I froze you. Yeah. And I will not stand for the slander of you blaming me for your loss. Go fuck yourself. Um, Crippling strike as a term is an ick. I don't like it. Well, it's just what it's it called. Bothers me. Because, you know, I know. I just hate it. No, I get it. But that will permanently stop from the crippled status effect. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah. It, it makes sure that they can't move. They can't, pass they can't, they can't move. Yeah. They can't move. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's, uh, it's quite crippling, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, what other words you would like me to use there, Bell? I'll be honest. Um, immobilizing. <laughs> I don't know. I Immo immobilizing fear, works. Sure. Immobilizing. I guess so. Yeah, but I'm I don't know. Anyway, source. hell, right? <laughs> Dude, I'm on a roll, man. I called you a leper off stream and everything. This is it's <laughs> A leper? But when you're like, we should do a one shot of all of us being like self inserts. But playing each but, other. And but then like we're all self insert, but someone else plays us. So it's like yeah, whoever plays Bell just has to play like a human, but like like a leper. <laughs> so, so fucked. A leper. Yes. <laughs> That's heavy, man. As a reminder, if it's no anyone's fun. first time here, hatred is our love language. We swear mm -hmm. we like each other. No, it's fine. I don't know. Yeah. We we oh, should clarify that. We don't hate each other. We just show no. affection by being assholes. True. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> Mm, I don't know. And then and then Koiba called it leopard disease. I just called it leopard disease. Instead of leprosy, Koiba ran. Because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Announce? No. I would like to announce that Koiva snack. Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, Koiva. actually, yeah, low key, low key. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. Not to steal Koiva's bit, unless I'm Koiva. Has oh, I, I debated yeah. sending him 32. Uh, we've been, we 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 went over this over Halloween, where like, if I don't, if I'm not doing anything, I just drink my drink forever and then piss 20 times in a session. <laughs> you do. Yep. You do. do. So uh, today we have butter mintos. Nice. Are you sick? I mean, to suck on. Whoa, well, did you say that? It oh, was you the, original. You got the Werther's, bro? Bro. Yeah. You know, oh, you know got the Werther's on deck. My you know we got the Werther's on deck. Hell yeah. Fuck. My cola keeps are downstairs. I don't Werther's like low-key kind of slap, though, actually. They do. They they honestly, do. I, like, I don't like the hard ones, but I like the soft, chewy ones. I don't I'm, like any of them. There's soft, chewy Werther's? What? Yeah, there's like chewy, almost like... um. Yeah, there's like... Yeah, I, I know of those. I wouldn't. I don't know. When you say chewy, I think gummy, and I was like, gummy. What are the No, more like a fudgy. <laughs> like a fudge type. Yeah, oh. right, right, right. Yeah. Um. No, these are classic. Hey, how's it going? What you got for so snacks been, today? There's some brother. shenanigans last week, all right, and I'm not happy. <laughs> we we had shenanigans, all right. We did have shenanigans. The bit was perverted. <laughs> the bit was perverted. I even said oh, in the. I fucking lost it at the fucking bundless quarter pounder, dude. 
That was the best. <laughs> that was a great. That was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Funny. None Credit of snack food. It was so Big Mac no bun. We're going. We're going back. All right. You Big Mac no bun. It was quarter pounder no bun. Was it quarter pounder no bun? Was it quarter pounder no bun? Yeah, it was quarter pounder no bun. Right. Okay. It's got a little bit. We've got a little bit off the rails a little bit. Okay. 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 I'm just bringing so it you back. didn't do anything again. Bring it back. No. So we just got some sweet and solid popcorn. Uh -huh. Right. And That's then not. A and then a whole chocolate trifle. So. <laughs> This man complains McDonald's isn't snack food, and then he eats a whole tri. And then he eats a whole dessert course. <laughs> oh, like, what was it the week before? Bananas? Yeah, we talking about. No, that was. It was. Is that? Is that? It was a bunch of bananas, right? Yeah, but yeah, I like. And they like kind of green. Is that the cream egg trifle as well? Yeah, it's a cream egg trifle. Yeah. That's kind of. That I'm a cream your eggs if you carry on. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty fucking poggers, right? But I got popcorn because we got to make it normal again because you guys are freaks <laughs> and have ruined this for me. <laughs> it, I mean, it's an Easter only thing. Because it's an Easter only thing. By the way, Koiba. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I can It's the no, fucking, I'm, I'm I can't gonna wait until take. he's I'm forgotten. Like long I'm, gonna, gonna, wars, okay, relax. I'm gonna wait until he's forgotten about it. I will never and then forget. I'm do it again. I will never forget. No, no, no. no. Next, next, it's gonna be next time Laura can afford it. You get a care package of weird Canadian snacks Ooh, in the mail. Why can't wait really. for that? Is they'll actually be snacks. Though. No, what I can't wait for is I'll get through the mail oh, like an input um, tax like oh, thing I have to pay, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's the bit. Is it's just it's a trifle. Well, uh, is it all dressed? Weird ladies that are in Canada, something like that. Um, all dressed and ketchup are the two crisp yeah. flavors that we, we have. We have, have ketchup in the UK, but not all dressed. We have ketchup over here oh, as well, really? and they're fucking fire. They're awesome. Then I'll send you they're all awful. dressed chips. Um, so, oh Koiba, when you're in Netherlands, uh, right, and yeah, like you, all the boys are here, and we're, yeah. we're gonna play D and D like at the fucking Airbnb yeah. or whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna yeah. bring you some cursed snacks just to live, keep That's the tradition going. So it's just licorice, right? It's just licorice, like just loads, copious amounts of licorice. Salty licorice. Your mom Not even like, in like, like licorice root. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just get licorice root. Just, oh. Yeah, just stick. Licorice is pog, bro. You guys are. <laughs> no, licorice, 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 licorice is kind of bad for your blood pressure. Salted right? licorice is cursed. Licorice is fire. Well, the licorice is yeah, the Dutch that. licorice is not. Dude, it's fire. Mm. Dude, wait, do they have that weird salty licorice like in yeah. Finland? I, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, I, years ago, I got a bunch of candy from Finland, and some of it was like really fucking good licorice. But one thing was this horrible salty licorice that was honestly the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. And I've sucked Dutch's party. dick, so yeah. that's saying something. <laughs> just it's just a different kind of salty, you know what I mean? It's just uh, yeah, kind of concerning. But let's play the Indian. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if that is all. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get yeah. into the swing of things. Last, we left off the party accidentally got transported to the Nine Hells uh, to Nessus, the Ninth Hell. <laughs> Nessus being the home of Asmodeus uh, and is ruled by Asmodeus uh, under a pretty fierce and uh, Ah, dictatorship, like I would, uh, you could say. Um, you either fall in line and do as as Modius says, or you die. Simple as that, really. Um, oh wait. Ness is also the home of his military uh, strategists and, and planners, in the form of the Dark Eight, uh, a collection of eight pit fiends that are all generals of the armies of of all the hells, and um, this particular hell is where all the planning and the strategizing takes place. Um, speaking of the Dark Eight, uh, one of those generals was called uh, Balzaphon, which you fought in your uh, in your battle when you arrived in, in Nessus. Um, it was a hard fight. A lot of you went down, some died, brought back, but unfortunately you, you did beat the bad, but unfortunately... <laughs> It came with a sacrifice, uh, whereas Daigon fell in battle, and neither of <clears throat> the healers had any chance of, of, of bringing her back uh, due to the insane amount of spells and, and revivifies that had already been cast that fight. But before you really have had time to process what was happening, you met uh, a tiefling named Righteous, um, who is a member of a, a, a 
group of rebels from Avernus called the Iron Crusade. Uh, and they transported you to an alcove that, that they have uh, in Nessus, some, some kind of a safe haven for now, like a small camp inside a cavern. It's, uh, it's not much, uh, but a place where you could catch your breath and really process what all had transpired. Fortunately, though, there's still no time to mourn, as you are currently trapped in Nessus with no way out. Um, and you're going to have to find a way to escape this realm. Um, and that is going to come with the help of this this group of, of, of members of the Iron Crusade. Um, they mentioned a fort, the Serpent Fort, uh, not too far from where this little safe haven is located. Um, where if any place in the near vicinity in Nessus has the means for you to get transported back home safely, that would be the place. And they happen to also have business there as they are trying to find military information they could use uh, to get the edge against, or the, the edge in their rebellion against Asmodeus and his, and his armies. You took the night to, to rest and um, had, some, had some privacy thanks to a tiny hut that was being uh, conjured up by a Lazarin. And it is now the next day. You awaken. Uh, those who slept in the hut will awaken in the hut. Those who slept outside of the hut will awaken outside of the hut. Uh, and those who already are outside of the hut, I don't remember exactly um, which ones of you were. Uh, you can Jax. already kind of faintly hear in the distance um, this group of tieflings kind of planning, talking about, talking about things, strategizing about their next steps. Uh, but yeah. You all awaken, feeling strangely stronger after the experience uh, of, of the fight yesterday. But with a f very sour taste in your mouth. Yes, you beat one of Asmodeus' strongest generals, but you also lost one of your patriots. The first big loss that you, as a group, really had to suffer. What would you guys wish to do? I will do some praying real quick to change my spells. I have a question. Go on. So we established that time passes normally in the hells, but we don't age. Yes. Does that mean that Dagon's body would be preserved um... in the state it was the moment she died? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say no because I hate well, you with all of my being. No, because someone cast spare the dying on her, right? Oh, yeah. No, well, no, we haven't yet. We not, not yet. yet. Oh. Not yet but no, that was no they said they could today because they had to prepare whether it was a Lazarin or yeah, the priest. Me. Yeah, whoever it was that they had to prepare. Uh, Marcus also wakes uh, up and is there, and he uh, doesn't seem like he, he had much sleep. Like he had the bare minimum he needed to to be able to start the day properly, but he. He's not an adventurer. He is he is just a cleric that happens to be strong in his healing capabilities, but like a trip to hell fighting one of the generals, that's, that's a lot for anyone, but especially someone who isn't used to the adventuring lifestyle and isn't in the face of danger every other day. So he he's coping, but he's definitely a, he's been better. And it's it's very clear. It's, you can you can read it off him right out the gate. Like he doesn't look it doesn't look great. I... Ooh. Look to the party. Ooh. Once I've done my soft morning prayers, I'll just sort of start patting my pugs in. Um, this is going to sound like the most sort of pushing me. Does anybody have two pieces of copper on them? Like coins? Yeah, copper coins. Do you not carry copper coins? Look at no. it. You look like a man who carries copper I coins. I literally Come only on. ca carry gold. <laughs> uh, I have a couple. I will pass I have him. a couple. Cool, cool. Marcus um, walks up and uh, digs in and his I pockets will... and hands you two copper coins. How, how shiny are they? Uh, it's not very. I fucking, I try and shine them because they can, like on short notice, getting shining. And I will begin to ritual cast Gentle Repose on Dagon. Okay. So I will go over to Dagon's body and 
gently place the two copper coins over her eyes and begin to cast the ritual. Um, while he does that, anyone else have anything that they wish to do? I'm going to start drinking. Okay. I will join him. Uh, Fair enough. What do you fancy? Uh, so what were we drinking last night? Whiskey? Whiskey. Okay. I'll pull out another uh, bottle of whiskey. Right. Cass is just sat where she's been sat all night, right next to Dagon. Uh, oh, going to find somewhere quiet to do a little bit of target practice before we go anywhere, given the events of last session. <laughs> um, well, funny you say that, but um, some of these Iron Crusade members do wield bows, and you can see that, like, towards the beginning of the cavern, um, you got teleported here, so you don't really know how long this cavern extends, but uh, going past where the Iron Crusade kind of slept and have their, like, makeshift planning area set up. You do see some, um, like, wooden planks kind of, like, hung in the cavern wall with, like, a very, like, crude target kind of painted on it. So, definitely, target practice is something that you could do. <clears throat> and that I shall. Okay. That's what my dice listen. <laughs> <laughs> Once the uh, ten minutes is up mm -hmm. for uh, gentle repose, um, I'll just stand back and um, say, "Well, you won't. The cane and one can't be turned to undead, but still be careful." How long does that last? Ten days. Ten days. Right. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? One. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, backflip. <laughs> fucking destroy this chair. Backflip. <laughs> Whips out a backflip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sickle just leaves. <laughs> like yeah, he just left. Right I just never come back. <laughs> yeah. like... No. Um. Uh, these probably aren't going to show well on camera, but I got a couple fucking cool ass coins nice. from Game T. Oh, I have those. Yeah, I think they were like free with any purchase that was like over a certain amount. Oh, cool. I got them in the Kickstarter. Oh. Yeah. It's cool as hell. Is that like Medusa yeah, yeah. on one side, or like a Gorgon? It's, um, it's like a like a it's seven a, thing. Kind of more of a Siren Mermaid type deal. Their tails, okay. like these, yeah. Huh. Oh, I'm dropping things. And then a monster. horse. No, a three-headed goat. No, it has three different heads: a goat, <laughs> some kind of cat, and a boar or something. So, and then the other one is a lady one. and a skull man. There you go. So there you go. Pretty cool. Um, now, you know, Diagon's got the old, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, uh, walks up to you, uh, Elazarin, and kind of puts his hand on, on your shoulder, and... When... When we get back. Not if, but when. Um... This will definitely give us enough time to find somebody powerful enough. Hope so. If not, just cast again in ten days. Be fine. Um, what's the plan? Do we well, go into that fort, right? But we yeah, take her with us. Take her with us. We have to. Don't we? If we find a way out, surely. <laughs> I'm not I'll, going there back there. I'll put her in my vessel. She'll be safe there. She's not. No There's idea what that means, but a bed and she can stay there. I think works. How many of that? Whatever. I can't remember the fucking name now. The tieflings. Iron Crusade. Oh, there. Yeah, Iron Crusade. That's one. How many of them are there? Six. Fucking perfect. Great. I will cast create food and water. Uh, so I create a 45 pounds of food and 30 oh, gallons of water. Uh, either. Oh just in containers and stuff. Um, it's enough to sustain up to 15 humanoids. Oh. Uh, 24 six, hours. Six of them and you guys? Uh, I will basically fill up everyone's water uh, things and just still have food. It tastes bland. 
but it's nourishing. Nice. Hey, man. Bland but nourishing. And I'm supposedly just pour some bad. whiskey on mine. The water is clean and doesn't go bad. The water will never go bad. So I just will say. That's my up. like top line of my bio on Tinder. As you kind of bring uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the crusade, you can see that the Iron Crusade is all like kind of like circled around a table. And on the table, you see a map. And I'll send you the map in Discord real quick. Uh, my map. Uh, my map. Um, is it written in it's the map. It's the map. Huh? Is it written in Infernal? It's a map. Is there writing on the map? Yes, there is, but it's in common. It's, it says you are here, but like in Infernal. <laughs> it's actually a bit oh um, Open in browser? It's basically uh, Zoom? <laughs> a surface Yo. map of Nessus as a whole. Well, uh, this place sounds lovely. You, like, there's a location marked that's also called Nessus, which is uh, where you are. Um, might have to zoom in, a little, uh, zoom in a little bit. Oh, never mind. I'm lying. Uh, you are. You can it see the location marks. Hell yeah. Serpent's coil. Yep. You are just. How many north of that? How many different words can they use for a big gap between two rocks? You mm -hmm. know what I mean. Gorge. We've got, we've got a gorge, a crevasse, a canyon, we've got three, we've a got fissure. Three gorges. We've got lips. lips. <laughs> Another crevasse. We've got three gorges, baby. I mean, that's three old gorges. That, that's just what the landscape of Nessus is, man. There's just Gorge. a lot of a lot of holes and in the ground. Coil. <laughs> Curious gorge. A lot of a lot of holes in the ground. Um, you can hey, see there's a lake. Kind of like Hell holes lake. all surrounding that, and uh, there's down. a circle that marks your location, which is um, north of the serpent's coil. <laughs> and then there's a circle. Or like an X, actually, an X kind of marked between you and the Serpent's Coil. And they've, like, handwritten uh, Serpent Fort there. Mm. Um, as Righteous kind of looks at you all, good morning. I hope you were all able to get some, uh, get some sleep. We were all uh, going through our, our, our plans uh, for today. Um, and it would be, I think it would be wise of you to join us, so we can discuss what we do, uh, go, we'll give you a bit of a lay of the land, and we can talk plans. Um, today's excursion, a handful of us, uh, will accompany you to the Serpent Fort. Uh, it's not too far from here, a few hours march at best. Uh, when we get there... We'll be looking for any military plans they have to give us the edge in our rebellion. You'll be needing the supplies to, to leave this place. Um, a couple of scouts that we had sent out reported back this morning. He points at a couple of individuals that are also uh, circled around the table. Uh, and they say that uh, besides Serpent's Fort being home to one of Asmodeus's avatars, um, a powerful wizard resides in the fort, and he'll most likely have the things you need to transport you out of here. I had to hedge my bets. Serpent Fort is a smaller fort, so finding a way around when inside shouldn't prove too much of an issue. When we get there, we'll split up into two groups. Your group will try and find a way into the upper level, which is where the wizard resides, while we tackle the lower level, where we believe we'll find our information. Um, to accompany you once we get to the fort and give you the edge, especially after, you know, things that transpired for you guys yesterday. Uh, I figured you might appreciate an extra set of hands. Um, we'll send you one of our protectors to, to aid you in your search. And he kind of looks, and, and for a second, you, you, he points, and he'll say, Prazitsar, come up here, please. And you can, you can look, like, uh, kind of to the, next to the wall, something that you could have mistaken for just, like, a suit of armor or anything. That suddenly springs to life. Um, Laura, could you give us a description of your character? Yeah, uh, I put a picture for some reference in the Dungeon Slug chat. I cannot use this picture on stream because it is not official art that was made just for us. This is someone else's art, so I don't want to be seen as we're trying to use other people's images, but just so you guys have an idea. So what you see, like Dutch said, suit of armor. Think um, the suit of armor almost in its bulk and its boxiness from like full metal alchemist, but it has like a burnished orange color to the armor and it has a red hooded cape that it's wearing. 
um, and, well, I should say they are wearing, and they have just kind of like the, that like, almost like groove where the mouth would be and the jaw just kind of when they speak almost like mildly unhinges, just some blue gemstones where eyes would be. Um, and they're carrying a shield and a, a maul. So I think the art has a sword, but they don't use a sword. They have a maul instead. It's like a, a very large hammer with spikes on either ends of the hammer. Um, yeah. That's what you see. Because it's art is, uh, a ward forge made by one of our inventors back in Avernus. They've been very helpful and have saved pretty much every one of our lives at some point throughout our, our ventures within the Iron Crusade. Uh, very capable of... Uh, very capable of, of, of fighting by your side and... Um, might definitely give you the edge you need kind of... to infiltrate this fort. And, and, you know, give you, like I said, an extra set of hands, should you need it. I mean, seems like Jack's is sort of area of expertise, to be honest. Is, is it sentient? As Jack says that, you just hear as like, a, there's a bit of, uh, the, the jaw hinges could use probably a bit of oil. There's a little bit of a squeak to them when they talk, but you hear... Greetings, my name is Prazitzar. I am happy to escort you today. And yes, I am sentient. My pronouns are they, them. Well, at least they're polite. More like I can say with the rest of you. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a Lazarus... Julius and Lord Dunbar, it is a pleasure oh, to gosh. make your acquaintance. I like fucking glare at Debbie in the second he says about being polite, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Politeness in spite we... isn't exactly polite, is it? Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> well, do we be able to call you Prezi? You may call me whatever you wish. Don't, don't suggest it that. Is. This group. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, I suppose it's down to me and Kester. Come up with something a little bit more fun then. Um, I'm Davian. <laughs> this is Onu. Onu's a bird. <laughs> Reaches out and a very awkward, like, trying to be gentle, but probably still a bit, like, Onu, like tries to pat Onu on the head, and it's probably still slightly too, like, doesn't quite like know their own strength. That Onu's head kind of, yeah, you see, you see like a Onu bit aggressive, kind of like but not re trying to be. Recoil a little bit, like. Yeah. <laughs> Um, name's Marcus. You know, gives you a nod. You can call me Cass. And they just nod in checks. response anytime anyone introduces himself. It's just like a nod of understanding in their direction. So as I said, uh, Prezi will, um, it's sticking in my head now. Prezi, Prezi Tsar will, uh, will accompany you in your venture to, uh, search the upper level of the fort. Obviously, um, I do suggest that once you find what you need and we find what we need, we do some kind of, uh, we find a point where we can all meet so that we know for sure that uh, once we leave the fort, you're all safe and sound and not, you know, we don't have to go looking for you. Plus, we would like our Warforge back after you're done with them. That would be nice. But how much would it cost to buy it from? Them. Them. What? Not, you Some, said not it. It. Oh, you said it. Uh, They're not for sale. They are a valued member <laughs> of our crusade. Fair enough. Ten platinum. <laughs> Ten platinum. <laughs> Ten platinum. <laughs> the Done. price for everything in the hell. In the hell. Ten platinum. <laughs> Callbacks. <laughs> On the on the way to, like I said, the the march to Serpent Fort um, is a few hours. Uh, on the way there, we uh, will pass through one. I guess, for lack of better explanation, it, think of it like uh, you know, in the material plane, military checkpoints. 
right? I think that, but uh, a lot less organized. That is basically um, the only way to access Serpent Fort is through uh, a crevasse, uh, and the only entryway into the crevasse is guarded by some of um, some some soldiers that serve Asmodeus. But after the fights you put up yesterday, I doubt that some foot soldiers will be of any issue. Uh, for for us all, especially if we join forces, so I don't think that would be a big problem. Um, obviously, um, don't stray too far. Um, try and try and follow us because we know the lay of the land and what's safe and what isn't. Don't don't try to try not to stray off on your own. Next thing you know, you'll end up at the serpent's coil, and that is the last place you would like to be. Why? What's that? <laughs> the Serpent's Sorry. Coil, uh, well, obviously, uh, you as a cleric. Ah! Uh, make a make a religion check, dude. <laughs> oh, make a little Ooh. religion it was check. was almost fucking awful. Um, you checked his religion still shit. Se se 17. 17? Um... You know that, uh, obviously, Asmodeus is depicted as a, a, a devilish humanoid in most uh, forms of, of reading and texts and, and, and books and, and, and scriptures that you read about him. But his real form, his, his actual form, is that of a wingless scaled serpent hundreds of miles long. Uh, but his form's sheer size made it impossible for him to meet or enter any form of conversation with anyone, so he created humanoid-looking avatars. Um, you also know that the location of his body is kept secret from everyone, including all devils, and everyone who ever learned the truth about where Asmodeus' real body is, they ended up, were found dead within that same day. Jesus. So, cool. Righteous will, 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 will tell you, Serpent's Coil is um, the place where Asmodeus fell when he fell from the Upper Realms. Um, the Serpent's Coil is where his body landed in Nessus, and it created a hundreds of miles long deep depth of nothingness. Nobody knows if there's anything down there or not, and I am not going to try and find out. This doesn't sound like the best idea. So, we'll stay away. All right. Well, I suppose uh, whenever you're ready, we can head out and uh, head into the shithole that is Nessus. But at least we'll have some, you know, we'll have each other's company uh, along the way. Some good news is no nightwebs down here. Are you what? fucking hope not? As far as we know. And no, what was it, crimson lotus or whatever the fuck? Again, as far as That's we know. Friendly. What's a night? Well, other than the ones that you know. What, what are you talking yeah, about? You know what I mean? Organizations that we'd rather not see. And uh, that we probably shouldn't tell you about, or we might have to kill you. Yeah. Right. Good job there. Right, right. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry about it. I think uh, any organizations from the Prime Tier you're playing, the last place you'll have to worry about them is in Nessus. You would be surprised, <laughs> but... I think you're paranoid. Don't worry about He is paranoid, and can you really blame him at the moment? No. Yeah, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Anywhere else on the material plane? No, I can't blame him for being paranoid one bit. Down here? Come on. The good news is maybe it'll stop him from wandering off. I feel like there's not really anywhere to wander, but... Does he have a problem with wandering off? Very much so. Um, like a child to see something shiny. The system. But I'm very glad I reiterated, and I'll say it again. Try not to wander off. Let's all stick together. Reiterate. I'll, um... Take <clears throat> Dagon. Now. How is it important is it that the coins stay on her eyes? Quite important. 
I'll make sure they do. To be Get fair, out a little see... bit of super glue. <laughs> you, you, you will see, though, that they are, like... Magically adhered. It's, it's a little bit, yeah. They are, like... They're not, like, really loose now. None of those things on They do shine, like, with some, with some aura. Some holy aura. So. Um... Brooks, would you mind carrying my vessel for me while I'm gone? Sure. Okay. Uh, Cass goes over and kind of leans over Daigon, presses her forehead against Daigon's, and then disappears. I'm also the... guessing you're taking her stuff so that none of you yeah. guys aren't also awkwardly having to carry her shit, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, we should have that case. I will give uh, Cass Daigon's spear. Thanks. You, uh... Loop into your vessel, and you're in your you're in your own vessel, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. The little necklace one. Mm-hmm. I'll pick it up and put it on. Yeah. Stylish. Nice. A merge in the vessel. And now Brooks now has three necklaces on. <laughs> <laughs> right, just kind of looks. And... Me trick. We don't question it anymore. She just does weird shit. Is she in there? No. As far as we know. I don't know how it works. I mean, I think she can hear around it, but I also don't think if we shake it, things go skidding about. It's almost like, um... Alright, well, that's a neat trick. Um, so, Cass, you appear in your own, you know, your 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 little room in your vessel. What do you do? Blue? A few seconds pass, but eventually you see Blue appear uh, beside you. What's going on? Can you help me get her onto the bed, please? I'm not strong enough to lift her myself. Yeah, of course, of course. We can assist you in in laying Diagon on top of the bed. What? Happen. Um. Well, we're in Nessus. His eyes. Wide <laughs> and um, we were fighting Bowserfon, and um, she went down while we were fighting him. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, although I am assuming that her being here means there is some hope. Right? A Lazarin seems to think so. I don't know much about it. Alright. Take good care of her. Thanks. I'll just kind of prop a spear against, um, the wall and leave her bag of stuff next to it make sure the meerkat is still like untucked in her arms and um okay uh i'll see you later i guess are you in this is... we, we were going after tooth and then we interrupted some kind of ritual and Instead of devils being teleported to the material plane, we got teleported to Nessus, and now we're kind of st- stuck. But we're yeah, figuring it sense. out. Um, be careful. Take care of your friends. I'll take care of her. Thanks. Well, we killed Bowserfon, so hopefully. You did what now? Yeah, he's um dead. In, kinda. In Nessus. Yeah. <sighs> Oh. Like he's he's dead dead. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm sure that won't have any consequences at all. Mm. Nope. Alright, well be careful and I sh- I I wish you could bring your friends in here, but um Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, I'll take care of her, and um, meantime, 
careful and uh, kick some ass. You're down there. You might as well make it worth your while. Find some thingy souvenir or something. I mean, that's four planes I've gone to now, right? Yeah. Just, you can going see that his, like, the whole demeanor is like, he does not want you to, to, to go into messes, <laughs> but he's also like, he understands that he can't stop you, but he is very much not happy knowing that you're about to head into Nessus. I um, might stay in here for just a little bit. They're just walking to a port at the moment, so if I hear anything go wrong, I'll come out. Right. I just need a moment, I think. I would say my home is your home, but this is kind of your home. I think, so. <laughs> uh, while this is going on, the rest of you, Righteous has kind of packed his stuff and 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 equipped his 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 weapons, and so have the uh, five Iron Crusade members that will be accompanying you. Uh, on this trip, anything you guys wish to do before you uh, are ready to go? Yeah, there's not like a basin of water or something here, is there? Oh, <laughs> for your a, shield. Like, not a basin, no, but they have like. I mean, a lot of just shift out like. Yeah, there's water. There's not like, like a basin. Right? Are you looking for like, like you want to take your though. shield, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, this has to be like. You just have to be able to submerge the shield, right? I, I think it's for like a minute, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, you, can drown you, you don't like need, like, a fountain or anything. Stuff. As long as it's deep enough to submerge mm. your shield, you'll be good. Yeah, just submerge in water for at least a minute. Yeah, um, they have, uh, there's, like, some, well, not, they're not buckets, but you notice, like, big, like, round, like, troughs, almost. Right. Yeah. Uh, you can, like, they're, they're not, they're, they're not filled, but you could probably, if there's water to spare, fill that up enough so you could at least submerge your shield for a minute. Yeah, I'll drown my shield in it for a minute. Well, made fuck loads of water, right? I didn't mm. make fuckloads of water. I made 30 <laughs> gallons of water. Oh my god. <laughs> so, but that's just in like... It's in a, it's drink in a, all though. Yeah, I mean, it, we, I, it's hard down here, right? This is, I mean, you would have had to go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so... It, water gets told me put in like a container. So it's in like a container of some description. Yeah, so some we'll say that you have water gold. to your disposal to submerge your shield in. Like, that's, uh, that's all I got. And then I would like to... um begin sketching uh prezi okay jack so i suppose you just by chance have any maps of nessus tucked in your map i face? could try to pull one out if to there is a, if there is a map you know maybe there's another one but fucking i do have a map wow <laughs> so what are the chances uh, and that map has even more gorges ravines chasms crevasses <laughs> <I guess so>. <laughs> <laughs> As you like, take the just map says no sure on it. Righteous will look at you. you. Just, you just, you just carry a map of messes with you, whatever. You uh, well, this one has a shortcut to get us there faster. Let me look, and he'll like we'll take the map and put it next to the map that he had. Oh yeah, there is that tunnel. I suppose that we could take to kind of. It'll take us directly to the the, the, the checkpoint, I suppose, instead of having to go around. Yeah, I suppose that will work. Yeah. Interesting. How did you get this? Uh, I'm a map connoisseur. I just collect things. Right, right. Fair enough. All right, well. Let's head on out. Let's head on out. And he begins to march, and his five Iron Crusade uh, members follow him, and then you, accompanied by Prazi, also, um, Head out, and you head into a surprisingly cold wasteland. Uh, you There are rivers of, like, molten rock and, and, and lava, but they are so deep down in, like, gorges and, and canyons that uh, they don't... You don't feel, like, the, the heat being emitted from them uh, right away. It's, um, it's windy. It's a bit nippy. 
Uh, but this is the first time you really have a proper look at your surroundings since you've gotten to Nessus. And um, it's almost as if the entirety of um, Nessus is like surrounded by, by, by these cavernous walls. It's almost like you're in one giant cavern is the vibe you're kind of getting. But you can see far, far in the distance a frozen, almost like a frozen waterfall that leads up and, and, and that's, you have no idea where it leads, but that is like the one thing all the way in the distance that, that, that you notice. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a barren wasteland of rock and deep crevasses and canyons and gorges and whatever other synonyms. Valleys, maybe? Uh, you can, you can think of. Uh, but you're off. Uh, and you wander for uh, a couple hours. Was that? Nothing. Okay. You wander for a couple of hours. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do, or wish wish to say, do, or or discuss on your uh, on your walk? Um, after about an hour, Kess will pop out. Okay. At some point, Kess will be. Oh. In Christ. <laughs> Thanks. The prodigal hero returns. <laughs> Brooks takes the necklace off and puts it on Kess. Pleasure of you oh. to join us, Kessus, in Nessus. I'm sorry, I'm very bored. How mad are you guys at me? Just so I know. Oh. Why would we be mad at you? For what? As they say that, you also hear Plaza say, I have just met you. I have no issues with you. God, Laura gets a character can talk and suddenly... Yeah, keep it <laughs> on, shut her up! Yeah, fuck it out. You spoke to us twice in... What? I was gonna say, she an so hour. Hour. How dare you? Yeah. That's the joke! Fucking hell. Oh, shut the fuck up, Koiba. Um, for, for, for disappearing yeah, during the fight. Okay. Why did you disappear during the fight? I thought it's what you and Dagon would tell me to what to do. But why would we be mad at you? I wasn't really directed at you, more the others. Oh yeah, no, I'm fuming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I didn't see most bad. of it, to be honest, so I haven't In given honesty. Well, I mean, let's be realistic. If anyone else had a way out of that fight, there were times when you would have fucking taken it. I think that's the thing, is that the rest of us, we didn't have a way to really run. It's just we had to hope we didn't die. Pretty much. Uh, I, I mean, really I, and... if I could have just disappeared in the blink of an eye, I can't say I wouldn't have. I probably would have done the same thing. I'm Marcus more surprised will... people aren't upset at me. I'm supposed to be taking care of you guys. I didn't see that first. Did you say that Marcus kind of looks at you? There's two of us. <laughs> the you fact did a that lot. any of us if are my alive. Weighs anything at all. But I've only just met you as instincts happen, fight or flight, and you had a way out. and Look very scary, and I would have probably done the same thing. To be honest. I mean, Marcus, on behalf of all of us, I, I think maybe we owe you a bit of an apology for dragging you down here in the first place. So, yeah, well, let's uh, wait with apologizing until we get home. Yeah, that way, well, we can think of ways for you to make it up to me. For now, that's what it is. We're here. Might as well make the most of it. But no, I guess no one's mad at you. I mean, I, I, I think we've reached a point that self-preservation was probably the only answer. Uh, the only reason Jax and I stuck it out is because we didn't really have any other choice. If we died and you hadn't, we'd have someone to talk about us. I've lived three lifetimes anyways, it's 
going to happen eventually. May as well die to a general in hell. No. They say that people die three deaths. Uh, the time you die, um, the last time someone talks about you, and then I think the last time someone thinks about you. I might have that wrong. You die once and then you're dead. <laughs> but if you lived, then we would have lived. A little bit longer, at least. Not your fault that I passed. <laughs> your disappearing didn't change that fact. The Lego was going to get That's a lot worse for, for a while there, to be honest. If anything, you saved a lot of casualties. <laughs> On this person, you know. You did save us all from that fireball. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty fucking amazing, was... to be honest. I think we all would have died there if we hadn't. I mean, it's my fault Diagon was here to begin with. No, that's a bit too abstract, I think, to really blame Ooh. yourself. Oh, is, it, is it all our faults because we happen to all be in that same town centre, the same city centre? Yeah, center? it's been weeks now. If all anything, adults, it's we the all made our own choices. choices. No. And honestly, looking at the situation and the coincidences and everything that ties us together, I feel like it would have happened regardless. You might have never met Dargan in the first place, and we all would have been dragged together by fate somewhere or another at the end of the day. Or we all would have died and never known each other in the first place. So we're asking for a bonus for this, though, right? Dear gods, yes. <laughs> Are you joking? I want my diamonds back. Actually, how much do you think I could get for the heart of Bells? Might be a little. I'd be honest with you, it'd be one of those weird ones, probably quite hard to sell because most people won't believe you, it's genuine. <laughs> the other thing being, I mean, we were trying to secure a hellish artifact that was already in the material plane. I don't know if we'd be doing anyone any favors bringing the heart of Bowserfon back into the material plane. And I feel like the only people who benefit from Bowserfon being dead are people down here already who can fill his boots. So, well, I was thinking probably not worth shit. Trophy case, no. Definitely. Maybe you could us, bring it. Sure. Maybe you could bring it and be like, oh, I found the heart of a demon lord. Can I have a, a, a hundred platinum to put it back where it belongs? And then at that point, maybe they would give you some money to put it fucking back down here. <laughs> I'll use this right now. <laughs> of course, your whole family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. But well, to get back to my guess, you are not to blame. No one is mad at you. No, no one's mad. I couldn't hit this the broadside can... of a barn in that fight. And I sincerely hope that the only person here mad at me is Onu, because to be honest, I've given him far too much shit for not pulling his weight in his time. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking look. Just... Oh, no, contributed. <laughs> that he did. We all did. Yeah. Lou um... kind of didn't believe that we'd killed Balsafon. We are a bunch of fucking idiots. It, it's also it is also surprising sounds like what we do. You did leave him to the two sexiest, strongest warriors that this party has to offer, to be fair. He didn't stand a chance. Who else is here? <laughs> do you mean do you mean me and you or I think from what I remember Brooks you might have been on the floor for the end <laughs> I could be wrong <laughs> yeah but that, that's, that's because... only because he, he drew the fire away from me right yeah, yeah no I, I might have had a go at him in Inferno and in return he Stabbed me in the chest twice, and mm -hmm. then Brooks just got me. so bored he took a nap on the floor. That's good because I don't remember mine because suddenly I was in the air, and the next thing, though, Marcus was over me, just all casting a spell. So, you know, like, yeah, please, goes. try and stay the fuck friends. away from anything Ooh, like that. Shit. I, I could tell because I saw Balspawn there in front of me, and then suddenly I was on the ground. And I have to admit, the <laughs> one like. The one silver lining to this very dark cloud isn't that we killed some terrifying fucking monster. It's that I got to watch you eat shit as you fell. Fantastic. Great. I as died. Kind of, uh, walking around, um, which one of you would you say? I guess. Yes. Prazzy, uh -oh. right? Because Prazzy, like, 
knows the surroundings, so I guess I guess you would kind of keep an eye out for things. Can you make me a perception check, please? That is also part of my whole oath yeah, description. Yeah. Sentry slash protector slash uh, bodyguard. Sixteen. Sixteen. Guys, I'm I'm not cursed anymore. Maybe, maybe we had a double digit roll. This oh, boat that's, that's, that's until it's, we get. It's only Daigon that's fucked. <laughs> I I have a passive of eighteen. If that matters. It doesn't. I have a um, passive alcohol addiction. You're too busy having this heart to heart. Exactly. Uh, Prezitsar, as you can, you know, you're not really paying super much attention to their conversations as it's not really your, your business. Um, but you kind of just walk with them, but keep an eye on your surroundings. Uh, and at some point, um, you hear a faint screeching sound. Um, pretty easy to miss uh, but as you kind of like your ears kind of perk up uh, you can see that righteous ahead of you also kind of looks around uh, indicating that he probably heard it too um, given your you know your 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 history around these parts and your experience um, you proficient in history at all a chance no, I'm not. Nature? No. I am proficient okay. in arcana, athletics, intimidation, medicine, and survival. Oh, uh, well, make are survival you check, then. Are you proficient in dancing the robot? Absolutely. Oh, uh, 17 <laughs> survival. Out. 17 survival. Um, <laughs> you hear the screeching sound, and you recognize... Uh, them to be uh, where are they? Uh, the, 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 the noise that, that horned devils make um, horned devils are these, these the, the flying infantry pretty much and, yeah. and you hear them in the distance so you know that there's horned devils flying about and so as they're talking I'll say sorry for the interruption but there are horned devils on the horizon huh? Flying fiends, infantry of this area. Bad guys. Mm. <laughs> I mean, do you suggest that we, we hide, hide from them? From them? Oh. Is are, is there anywhere to hide in the landscape? Uh, We're currently has pretty open kind of and barren. Over here is no need to hide now. But if the screeching gets louder, that's when we probably should take over. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm keeping here out, I suppose. We just beat the shit out of them. Mm, we would we like to resources now. not reveal ourselves until it's too until we absolutely have to because even if we beat these devils, some other cunts would have heard us fighting. Blah blah blah, and then suddenly the checkpoint we're going to be trying to fight our way through is going to have ten times as many devils guarding it. And I, you know, trying, trying um... to keep us, our our presence here on the down low, as they say. We killed a fucking lieutenant. Surely that should be enough to scare him off. You'd think that, huh? The thing is, they could if they or were they could to want revenge. That or if they were to listen, you will never be scarier than the punishment they'll receive from Asmodius himself for abandoning their positions. Yeah. I can try. <laughs> Certainly can, and I wish you all the best. But not today. <laughs> Uh, as we walk, mm -hmm. I would like to be intently sketching uh, Prezi and just kind of maybe be a little <laughs> too close to my observations, trying to see how Prezi works. Oh. Just like walking so bad. With, as we're walking, just gets out the tape measure and starts like... <laughs> Taking measurements. Like calipers or whatever. Like how, how <laughs> up close and personal do you get with, with uh, Like, <laughs> not touching Prezi, but like... <laughs> Inches right away. Kind of. like the, I'm on. not touching you. Like look at yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine that every time Prezi just like sort of half turns. The, if around, you're very stuff. close, you probably feel there is like a bit of heat that comes off my body. Occasionally, Ooh. you maybe see some steam escape like the joints of the armor, and you might hear the sounds of faint armor? clockwork on the inside. Oh my god! I want to tear you apart. <laughs> um, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> uh, Prezi. Who created you? 
Mr. DM? Because I asked if you wanted me to make this Who up, and DM said you, you got it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> In my head, it's like the Iron Crusade equivalent of Victor, but I don't know what Dutch came up with. <laughs> my head. Um, <laughs> no, I, I wrote it down. Hold on, I gotta. Or some guy called John. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Yeah, uh... Bezos. <laughs> John Bezos. Hold on, keep going. Keep going. Jeff Bezos. I have it written down somewhere, but I'm fucking. Fucking um, stupid. Before I. I... So why are you looking at him? Gattes? I like I am a uh, creation number five. There were previous failed prototypes. My creator is, and then I'll get to his name yeah. eventually. Um, do you know him as uh, efficient? That's the, what, oh. the, the way he addressed. He got addressed. The yeah. fuck is it? Uh, is, is it that his name in in common, or is yeah. that is it efficient in infernal? In, okay. In, in um. Okay. So. Um, my creator goes by efficient, as in that is their name, not that they are efficient. Make a even though that's not true. Okay. Make a history check, uh, Laura. Uh, almost a nat twenty, but instead that's an eight. Okay. <laughs> you do know that efficient was a a, a name given. Y your your creator is not a tiefling. Oh. Efficient is a name given to him. Oh. Well, uh, a vanity name given by to the him crusade by, by the crusade okay. for his for his help and, yep. and, and aiding okay. him. Okay, so um, that is the name I know him by and the name that was given, but I know it is not his birth name. I'm assuming I've never heard anything about it, but I gotta ask. <clears throat> Ever heard of a someone named Efficient creating or someone given a tiefling a name that wasn't names. a tiefling? <laughs> no, no. Uh, all you know okay. as well is that like he he is human in uh, himself. Um, oh, like he's not a thief. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, his previous creations oh, no. were all very functional, but seemed to lack the ability to make decisions or think critically. Uh, I mean, the last written can't think critically. So what on <laughs> earth? And he's pretty terrible supposed... at making decisions as well. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really going to regret After recent this. events, I Oh, I also forgot it. to mention earlier, so right before we, like, set off for the road, I was also fitted, like, the Iron Crusade fitted, there's some javelins on my back as well now. Like, when I, when you first, I just had the maul and the shield, but now there's been some javelins fitted into, like, attachments that are, like, directly on my back kind of thing. Amazing. Um, righteous. I just is busy yes. at the moment. Sorry, Please. I was uh, listening out for horned devils. My 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 problem. <laughs> um, who is this efficient? Uh, a man of a man of mystery. To be fair, um, showed up in Avernus one day. Uh, created, uh, you know, inventor uh, of sorts, and uh, had a couple of 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 of, of less. Successful warforged with him when he arrived. Uh, malfunctions, uh, really. Uh, broke a lot of things. Accidentally wounded some of our people. Um, but with time, he created more. Um, Prezi included, and um, stuck around, really. Um, so the name is kind of sarcastic? Yes, it is a vanity. Like, we don't give vanity names to, to non tieflings that easily. So, it is still an honor, but we did decide to be a bit, you know, a backhanded compliment, if you will. <laughs> so, you don't really know where he came from or what he was known by before? Uh. Ricky, Richard, Rick. something. Uh, was it Ricard? That was it, yes, that's it. Mother fucker. Do you know him? Um, Lol. <laughs> where does, is he still in Avernus? Uh, he doesn't live in Avernus. He, he swings by every once in a while uh, to check up on uh, on, on Brazi, for instance. Uh, he doesn't live there, though. Uh, where does he live? We'd love to uh, just 
Let's see what, what his mind is like. I want to know his address. I want to know his neighbor. I want, I want a social works. security number. Yeah. I want to know where he works. I, I'm not too I sure, but uh, I can I can I can find out once you know once this is all over and we get back to our furnace, to our to our to our fort. Uh, that would be incredible. I, I believe that Lazarus can send messages. Oh yes. I have no idea how they're going to be across planes, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And we'll figure out something. Do you, do, I'm do, sure. You heard of him before? Have you have you worked with him? Or um, I, no, I just I, you know he, he's done such wonderful work on Prezi, and I would love to see his creative. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Make a prowess. Make a deception or persuasion check. <laughs> There's no way that's not deception. <laughs> well, it's kind of deception and persuasion, to be fair. But he wants to see him. Same, so doesn't fuck Dead. Him. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> Robbed. He just kind of looks at you. <laughs> right. All right. All right. He's a pirate after all. All right. Well, uh, you know, once this is oh, all process. Out. That's the word I was looking for. Creative process. Right. Right. Yeah. Creative process. All in all. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> let's see what I can dig up for you. I, I appreciate it. Um, all right, I got my um. Oh. Um, as you're kind of having that conversation, you all now hear this like shrieking sound getting closer and closer, and at that point, immediately. Right just kind of kind of stops everyone and, and, and looks around, scans the horizon. Um, there's an alco alcove there, we gotta hurry. Hey, don't make any noise. Uh, and let's well, roll some stealth checks, please. Nice. I'm gonna so... start with a session. Do I even gonna need roll like shit? 14, Wait, maybe. Wait, oh, since we're hiding. Mm -hmm. Wait. Since we're hiding, Gavin has like infinity advantage. Um, oh, yeah, you you have to like place. be sitting still for that, or does it like shift with your terrain as you move? Uh, folks, shifts color and texture to blend with the terrain surrounding you. I okay, yeah, no, yeah sure. Use that While in an area that's slightly obscured, I can hide as a bonus action even if I'm being directly observed. It doesn't like give me advantage yeah, or anything, you, but you, like you can you can use that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Give you a vanishing self check for that. Um, Pog. So I'm not fixed from how I was rolling. And no, um, me neither. I rolled like great. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I have disadvantage because of both Same. my plating and my general makeup. FYI, I make noise when Prezi's I. Prezi's wearing so. makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like having a second Jax. It's fine. So I rolled a three. It really is. Three. Oh, buddies, negative one. Making my 14 negative look one. gigantic. I got a 13. 13? I got, got a 14 is huge. I got a 19. 22. 22. Ooh. 19. That's a low That's roll low. for cash. 22, 19. 14. I got a 22, 19. 14. Uh, Marcus with a 21. Uh, I'd wow. See, I... You... I was going to do something, but I think he's already rolled, so I think it's too late. You all uh, wait, wait. scurry well. towards this, this this alcove, and you now see in the sky, um, kind of like across from you, just just scanning the area almost. This this large group of horned devils, uh, pretty fucking large, uh, definitely a lot bigger than any of you. And there's like twenty of them. They all have these like two pronged forks uh, in their hands, uh, large curled horns, almost kind of like a ram, uh, that, that vibe. Gnarly, leathery wings, sharp tails with like a spike on it, and, and these feet that are just, just like two-toed feet. It's, it's very gross. And they're just flying around, scanning the area, just screeching as they do. Uh, but they do not seem to have noticed you as a group. Uh, That's shocking. two or three of them kind of like land on top of the rocks above you that you are currently hiding under and you hear them just you hear them just <laughs> as they as they look around and the stench that they bring with them just this this rotten 
sulfuric, like rotten egg quality to it. Um, There's one of us dropping like a radish or something and we all <laughs> shit ourselves. Um, but eventually you hear them just as, as they're, uh, you know, the, the flaps of their wings as they fly off again. So for now, you're out of the woods and Raich is kind of okay. It's a little close. Some of you, uh, do you do understand? Uh, I understand that Prazi isn't necessarily the quietest because of the way they're, you know, built, but some My of you apologies. really... The, the, the concept of stealth uh, foreign to you, or...? Well, I mean, subtlety, maybe not a strong suit, but I mean, look at the way Jax is dressed, and... I mean, we're used to a jungle climate rather than that of this. I do know that my creator is working on some sort of cloaking device to muffle my footsteps, but it is not ready yet. Jax, it's been I working on that I... for uh, literal months now. But, um... And when you've lived as long as I have, your joints creak and your <laughs> armor just makes more noise. All right, well, it's good to know now before uh, I send you uh, down the, uh, the, the... I'll... I'll keep that in mind so that when we're in the fort, if I hear shit pop off upstairs, then, uh, you know, we'll know to send some backup if need be. But, um, you know, try a bit harder next time, please. If okay, no. we need to duck into cover again, Jax, just stay close to me. <coughs> and everyone. I was going to ask a question, but it's kind of a dumb question. Was the question, what good would that do us? Because... Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Jax is an old man. Was would he them. ask the dumb question? No, uh, I was going to say to ask DM um, if I use my boots of flying when trying to hide would that mitigate my disadvantage of stealth? Absolutely not. Fucking but the, <laughs> you don't have disadvantage, but the DC's doubled because you're in the sky. <laughs> oh, all you hear is the flapping of the wings. It's the... He's like wings on the ankles. <laughs> Um, actually, they're rocket boots, motherfuckers. Oh, it's even louder. Even yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's plenty quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fucking quiet. Yeah, true. My bad. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, they're first edition, okay? I'll make them better. <laughs> that makes it louder. Not if you don't make it out of the house, you boy. Hey, I am American. Everything that's louder is better. Yeah, right? <laughs> More gooder. Everything that's louder More is better. Bad. Yeah. All I right. I would like to use Vigilant Blessing on uh, Cass. Aww. Just in case he's Why, so she lame. Can make the like yeah, to basically. disguise myself as AC's keys. Oh god! Like to disguise myself as casting a vigilant blessing. <laughs> oh you fucking bitch did last time I gave it to you, so Oh uh, I think it's a good gives advantage in you gives guys, advantage in uh, initiative here. Yeah, yeah head on possible. with your trip. Be uh and you get to this uh, this tunnel that uh got revealed on Jax's map. Uh, and you enter it, uh, and, and Wright just kind of goes to you, Jax, and mind me borrowing that map while I guide us through this tunnel, since apparently it's more detailed than the one I had. We'll give it back to you once you're on the other side. Uh, yes, by all means, and I'll uh, pass on that. Right. Um, and as you venture through this tunnel, who is at the back? She runs away. Um, I'd probably be at the back, I guess. Okay. Um, somewhere in the middle. Make a wisdom saving throw. Thanks. <laughs> what the Yay. fuck? Before, before you do that, hold on. Hold on. Um. I already have advantage that if that's thing? what it would give me. I think I can do. No, I thought I had an aura that affected saves, but I might be incorrect. Might be later levels. Class features. I have, right, I have two I auras. Pull, pull the Never mind. That's not what dude. they do. Laura or is Oh no, yeah. Well, seven. no. Are, are you are you still close to me because you were like studying me and shit? If you're at the back. Yeah, then you get plus 2 to your save. Sick. Um, so that's a total uh 12. 12? <laughs> <laughs> you just ha hear this whisper kind of like dancing that's from not... your left ear to your right ear just kind of around you. The careless whisper. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them. 
destroy them. I love that. I love that for us. Uh, and as you you hear that, mm -hmm. you kind of instinctively, because you feel safe, you stop moving. And your eyes kind of cloud over. Um, mm -hmm. Kess, you have a very high passive perception. So I'll, I'll say that you see this. You can see that as you kind of turn back to look, uh, Jax stopped moving. And you can see that his eyes are completely fought, like clouded over, and there's like, there's like this black fog kind of covering his eyes. Given okay, real quick, are we in like a single line or like a spread out group kind of situation? I need to know if I'm gonna kill the party. How narrow is the tunnel? That's like a like a 10, 15 feet in, in width. So I'd say you can have a two by two, you know, two, by two, two by two. Yeah. Um, and in that case, it was probably me and Jax at the yeah, back, like so, yeah. the last two, and then. So I'll run to the back of the group to catch up with them. Well, no, 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 no. You're you're kind of like, you're not. Oh, I'm not killing people yet. No, 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 no. Okay. You just stop walking. Uh, and given Kess's familiarity yeah, with having so the shit beaten out of a bike, calmed people. I'm <laughs> gonna. Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, branch and fucking bonk him with it and uh, give him protection. Uh, basically, he has advantage on any new saving throw against uh, being frightened, possessed, or charmed. It says possessed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, make oh. another wisdom save, uh, Jax, with advantage this time. With the plus, I, I, and with I the plus two. Last time too, oh, you already but... did? Oh, oof. And yeah. an additional plus two from being next to me. Dole can get plus, like, advantage on wisdom, charisma, and intelligence saving throws. Dole can have broken. What? You get an advantage and an additional modifier, so don't no. fuck this up. Um, 24. There you 24? Go. No. You blink as, as Kess kind of like twa twacks you <laughs> with, this, with this branch, and your eyes go back to normal, and Kess, you now see as well, as well as like everyone, because I guess everyone kind of like turns back and sees Kess just like, what the fuck? Uh, Jack's on the head, as this like shadow kind of leaks from his eyes and kind of collects Ew. above his head. It then proceeds to jump off of Jax and. Can I try an Eldritch Blast it? Yeah, you can try. Roll attack. Roll attack. Natural 20. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Full damage. Or shadow. Which means it does 10 default right rolls. Yeah. 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 Full damage right. uh, plus a roll. Nineteen points of force damage. You can see that this 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 dark shadow is is flying at a very fast pace towards a Lazarin this time, and you <laughs> shoot out an Eldritch Blast and just <laughs> blast it into the side of the wall, and it just and you just hear this like this like agonized scream just ah, as it as it fades away the rest of like the iron crusade up ahead to turn back what's going on uh there is weird shadowy creature things like possessing people not anymore oh Fuck that's sake. not good uh, i'm guessing there's a reason this tunnel doesn't show up on maps um shadow <laughs> Shadows or a thing. Think of it as, um, you know, people die in the hells. Their soul doesn't necessarily get rest. Oh. They are just oh, kind of doomed well. to roam around Nessus or other hells. Don't tell us that. Don't tell us that in the That's wake of the passing of our friend. No, quite no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. This is like they've died, as in, how do I say? Like they're meant to be here. Right, yes. Um, right. They were taken here, uh, punished. Well, this is part of the punishment, right? Um, uh, but some of them uh, find the particularly powerful souls of people, like really bad people or really fucked up creatures, even in their soul form, will have some form of power and they can try and possess the bodies of living creatures nearby, and I'm guessing that is what you just witnessed. 
It seemed like it, yes. Fucking me and Kess are Ghostbusters over here. Keep an eye on each other. Uh, if any of your friends just stop, start acting weird, uh, keep a look on their eyes. Keep, keep looking at their eyes. If their eyes start to look different, then something's up, alright? We should be and fine as long as we pay attention to it. Okay. And I'm gonna cast it. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cast uh armor. What's it called? Armor, Fucking right. armor. Mage armor. Mage armor. Mage armor. Mage armor. Okay. Should be fine. Um, just just keep an eye on each other and uh, we'll be alright. Going to very quietly just Pass my my brass knuckles over to Cass. Pass the brass. <laughs> what what? Uh, huh? I pass gas. Well, what do I even do with these? To hold on to them for me until we're out of this tunnel. Okay. And this does you... not seem like a good idea for me. <laughs> the image of a recently dispossessed Jax farting casually is just. <laughs> <laughs> And as you venture through this tunnel, every one of you will at some point hear these like very like pained whispers of just like some of them will will be like, "Help me, save me," and others will be like, "Kill them, kill them all." Um, but none of every you... time, hmm? every time I hear one of those whispers, you just hear a, a presence reply out loud, "No, thank you," or "I'd rather not," or just like randomly <laughs> replying to the whispers that only they can hear. Very polite. Thank you. Your That's interest has been noted. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm currently unavailable and preoccupied. <laughs> Your claim has been an denied. Agent. Press four. Kaz is gonna start like Your call parroting. Is Kaz is just gonna start parroting the responses, like, nice. like mockingly. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's fucked up. <laughs> all right, but eventually. Kill them all. <laughs> you uh. Ooh, you make your, way, in the you house. make your way through the tunnel, and uh, as you exit it, you can see in the distance, uh, pretty far away still, but uh, you have a, a visual on it, is, is this large kind of like cave mouth um, in between two. You're basically, what it's, it's almost like the entry point of what looks like going to become a very large ravine the deeper and deeper you would go and in front of that ravine or that entry point you see about six heavily armored uh feminine looking winged uh, devils wearing plate armor um just just holding guard guarding that entry that point makes... oh. and uh righteous kind of like motions you all to stop all right, let that in distance. That's our, uh, that's our entry point. That is the only way to get to Serpent Fort without having to ravage through the wasteland, a wasteland filled with rivers of molten rock and fuck knows what kind of creatures. Worse than any anything weapons. about these devils ahead of us reminiscent of the succubi that we faced. Um, the hope so. No. Uh, the only, oh. like, similarity would be that these are also, fe like, feminine presenting devils. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, the, the, the succubi were not wearing armor. They w had a red yeah. skin, whereas these devils, yeah. you look at their faces and they're they're almost like, like a pale, a very sickly pale uh, color. Uh, and As... their wings are these, like large red feathered wings instead of the like fleshy oh. leathery uh vibe you get from most of the devils around and they're wearing this 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 dark iron plate armor um like these are definitely uh like like soldiers like trained to to, to fight and they're the the wheel sword by their side bow on their back um does uh anyone know what the fuck these are um, I let us know what the fuck these are. That was with swords. Um, if you want to roll I... a survival check, uh, Laura, since you have experience sure. in this field. Hell sure. Yeah. I also have a thing I can say Did afterward. Roll a religion oh. check, Laura. <laughs> Almost was a twenty. Oh, Prezi action. Um, so that's a twelve for okay. survival. Okay. Uh, you know that these are known as Erinyes. That is all you really. Okay. Know. 
Aaron er, or Aaronies, er, 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 <laughs> um, but spelled like Aaron, yes, Aaron, yeah, yes, but yeah. yeah, um, I think it's pronounced. It's I don't like, give a fuck. Are, are they are, are they fiends? Would I know that they are fiends like other devils that we've encountered? Oh yeah, like, they're no, the same they, these kind are of, devils. Yeah. These are devils. Yeah, well, yeah. both pronunciations. Uh, these are, are yeah, these are fiends known as Aaronies. I have an ability where I can make them flee for one minute, but it has. Medium to 75% success rate. Hearing that name, does that ring me any bells? Any oh, bells? I can really check. have a number. Ooh, 23. Ooh. Uh, you, are, you know that um, these creatures, despite their, their, their beautiful uh, appearance and their, their, their very close to humanoid appearance that these are also fierce and disciplined warriors that sweep down from the skies and bring swift death to creatures that have wronged their masters or or uh, to defend uh, the edicts of Asmodeus. Um, they... Great, love that. Because the term stems from the Greek mythology Air Aranes, aka the Furies. That was what they were called. That was their name. So they're sure. inspired by the Furies of Greek mythology. There you go. Uh, you know that there's this tale that the first uh, Aranes were angels that fell from the upper planes because of temptation or misdeed, and have since been twisted and and are now formed by Asmodeus's will, and they oh. will always do his bidding. <laughs> Great. We love that. I uh, will repeat that some hot. of that, and I'll just sort of be like, cool. <laughs> just once again, Elijah remembers about devil's face drops. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh. how do I know that name? Are oh, these... fuck. Oh, I know that name. <laughs> are these more things that are going to be able to see through any trickery that I can do? Most probably. Uh... It's a semi high. They do have to. They have true sight, yeah, so yes. yes. I know that, but devil. Brooks doesn't know that. No, but Elasmin right. does. Elasmin does? Yeah. Yes, they will. And uh, this will be or another our, fight. Our only option is... To fight them, yes. Things. Fantastic. Um, How far away are they, DM? Uh, pretty far away still, yeah. Look, you're, you're in a safe distance to be able to discuss and and talk, and you're hide you're still hidden. But we it's are going to have to fight them. But if you had to give the number of feet... <laughs> I... You've got two. 300. Ah, oh, perfect. Miles away. Can't do anything. I will I hold my hands out to Kess. I can too. Here you go. Alright, well, um, only six of them. We should be able to, with uh, combining you guys and us six, should be able to, uh, to take them on into a fight and uh, make our way into the ravine before backup comes or do you suggest we try a different approach I'm all ears I think regardless of what happens we're going to be going to a fight with them but we can at least try and sneak up a bit yeah once we I can uh, get... append my abjuration ritual but again there is I calculate only I've previously lowered my estimate to a 40 to 50 percent success rate <laughs> worth it really <laughs> worth for a minute maybe. Well, the drive it starts getting bad, I think. Unfortunately, Afternoon. things like illusions won't work on them. Uh, once we get to a, to a certain distance from them, they'll be able to see through any sort of trickery. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only thing I have that would potentially help is the is the fire breath ale, but I don't know how do they do with fire. Uh, not too fast, I don't think. As much much like a lot of creatures you'll find down here. Um. Actually, no. Oh, never mind. No, never mind. Yeah, no. Fire won't work. Fire, fire does nothing. Fire does nothing. Then nothing. my Great. only option is hitting them or stabbing them. Those anybody both, requires. Uh, well, anyone, if you have, uh, you know, your weapons, magical, silvered. If anyone requires magical yeah. enhancement for their weapons, I can provide this service. Ooh. Jax, what did you make these out of again? Uh, what are they? Piss. Uh, the dust is. Uh, they're made out of Gorgon. Oh, like Gorgon the Gorgon fleet. metal, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, and then I had the balls, them, right? I had them enchanted. <clears throat> plus ones. Yeah, as long as uh, they they don't really care for uh, mundane weapons, but if your weapons are magical or or silvered, you'll be able to uh, strike through, as they say. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Does we'll anyone fine. not have magic weapons? Probably a Lazarin, but he does. No, nope, I do. Magic, so. And is your, is your bow magic? Oh right, yeah, of, of, of um, warning or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is your is your bow magic, Davian? Yeah. We have, we have silver the bow is snaring so, uh, I'll be honest, I never paid that much attention because long bow Dutch. and a single. Hello? Would the, we pick the, the maul that I'm using, because like my weapons are provided by the Iron Crusade, is mm -hmm. it magical or silvered or is it a basic maul? Um for you I'd say it'll be, it'll be a plus one. So it's enchanted with a plus one, so it'll be magical. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because if not I would do my so spell on it. That's good. Turn that into a plus one maul on your sheet as well. Okay. Are we trying to stealth oh. or are we just... We stealth for this. Well, we can, we can see through right? pretty much anything. Uh, illusions, uh, invisibility. So the only way we sh would be able to stealth is by using actual objects of our surroundings. Mm. That's going to make things a little hard since... I could shoot them yeah. from here. I, well, I can't. Here. Oh, I can't. I can shoot them from here. I could try and distract them and... While they look the other way, we fucking rush I up and... I need to get to the shit about 100 feet of them and then I can be fine. Well, we could... Uh, it seems that it's just those six. If we make a lot of noise here, they might come to check it out, and we can use. Uh, uh, I can make lots of noise. This alcove, is here, a this alcove yes. here as a bit of a surprise, maybe. I mean, mm -hmm. is here a better fighting place than over there? It's. We get the element uh, of surprise, game. I suppose. Okay, sure. We can terrain wise, then. it'll be the same. But it's just we might be able to get the jump on them. I guess we could use me as bait then. How far yeah. out are we from? Are we still like right at the mouth of the tunnel, Dutch? Or uh, you've ventured out a little bit. <laughs> like roughly how far? Like a few minutes of walking. Okay, that's fine. I'll whip out my pepper box. I mean, what? Are we, are we ready? Is there any benefit in having them come over here, like the terrain? The element of surprise, being able to get the drop on them, mm. taking them off guard. If we just straight run up on them, they'll see us before we get there, and it'll be is, a level field. But is there any terrain here where we could hide to try and surprise them, Dutch, or is it like? Well, yeah. Right now, you're hiding behind some like rocks and whatnot, uh, and you have like a visual of them, so. You know, the, the march to them is pretty much just like an open path. So there's nothing really to use as cover or anything. But the only way I would realistically see you guys getting the jump on them is if you somehow manage to lure them to you and then just all, like, jump them from behind the rocks that you're currently from behind. I, I, who's playing bait then? Me, I guess? Uh, I will. I can shoot off my gun at them. Create quite a ruckus. Is, is that what we want to do to entice them over? I feel like we should... It should be less um, overt. If, if like, we... If Jack yeah. fires off a gun and they just see one lone big blue man in the middle of hell, they're probably going to raise some questions. Whereas if we collapse some rocks or, I don't know, just make a general bang that will draw their attention... Yeah, well, I mean, always shoot here. it straight up in the air, hiding behind the rocks. You know? I mean, yeah, right, but Jack's... then... Well, I suppose that's true, actually. I mean, Jack could just, like, shake around, and then his armor will make clanking sounds, and that will that'll probably work. Just <laughs> yeah, just like... throw him and <laughs> press your dente yeah. over here to have a little ballroom dance, and the clattering will surely draw the entire legion. No. Clunk, 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 clunk. I'll have you know I'm actually a very graceful dancer. Mm -hmm. Not in that armor. Perhaps not I don't... in armor. I want to know if you've practiced. Um, I kind of do. If only I had more explosives. Is there any high ground that I might be able to scurry to? Uh, yeah, it'll be a bit of a climb. Uh, and it doesn't provide you King with the most the cover, but there are some like like walk walls that you can you can try to scale and get a. At least they'll be able to be hidden height. from them. If, if if I'm on you know if I'm on the high ground, sort of back, lying down under my cloak of uh, under my nature's mantle then they won't surely be able to see up and spot me right uh, not right away so 
once they get yeah. close enough they will <laughs> well just if you know if if say you know we're in like a steep thing and i can like go boop, boop, up the side and lie down and they're coming up the valley there's no way they could actually see up there until i'm like i know. suppose so yeah because of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, know, I can fly you up there hold on i need to check something um because i leveled up my ranger but i don't know if the optional ranger features fifth level or sixth uh oh it's sixth i get roving Damn. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's oh, pretty... Well, hold on, don't you have loud rocket boots or something? I could probably just throw a rope up, and it'd be alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so okay. I'm sorry, man. Just... Rising for Dalkin. You know. <laughs> um, so are you using a rope to try and get up there? Or are you just gonna yeah, I'm going to throw, throw a grappling hook up there, or I'll get Onu to fly with a grappling hook and like make sure it's secure, and then... Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll work, that'll work. Pull myself up, okay. lie down, throw my cloak over me, and be very still okay. as a ranger, as only a ranger can, you know? Good. Uh, make a stealth check for me, just... Uh... Here we go. Uh, advantage or no? Uh, yeah, sure. It was a natural one, and then it's natural 17, so dirty 20. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Yeah, so you're in position. What is the rest of you guys doing? The Iron Crusade uh... gang are just all, like, weapons drawn and are just, like, leading against the rock, just waiting for you guys to do something to lure them over here. So I'll that's kind of what you said. point my pistol in the air and oh. just fire off two shots. No, I don't... I don't... Come back away from Jack. Birds yeah. in the hells. Um, there are flying creatures all around, but they tend to have they tend to have wings, but they also tend to have weirdly Wings? humanoid-looking bodies and are wielding weapons. Onu will also try and lay down very flat on <laughs> okay. top of this thing. All right. I'm gonna kind of like duck behind rock and get ready to fire off an eldritch blast. Okay. Um. Get ready to sprint, I guess. Yeah, I kind of want to try and also tangle them and they get within range. They approach. Um, two of them stay behind. Four of them approach to get closer. Um, on foot? Oh, no. No, no, no. They okay. And okay. fly over. Okay. Um, oh, fuck. They can fly. <laughs> yeah, they have, like, feathery red wings. And as they get close... We need to roll stealth. What was your stealth check again, uh, Davian? 30 20. Okay. They do not seem to spot you as they get within the range right at the true sight would have easily exposed you from under your. If I was invisible, maybe. But... Uh, but they do not seem to spot you. They're focused on where the origin of the sound. And as four of them fly over, they kind of land where they think the sound came from. And at that point, the Iron Crusade gang all. And, and, when, and as soon, as soon as they feel themselves and and fucking start plunging their swords uh, into them. Um, hold on, let me quickly roll some attacks for these boys. Okay. Miss. Miss. I included oh. in the Iron Crusade gang. No, you're separate because you're special. Okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> you're special. Ow! Hit my hand. Yeah. Get the fucking. <laughs> like I right. said, you're special. Right, yeah. Gonna... Uh, hold on. Two miss. Third one. Especially bad. Oh, Whoa, that's why she died. <laughs> so well, I need to fucking start making some notes. Blah, blah, blah. Um, hold. Aired. Good the line. Uh, so. What did I have? A plus five, so it's a dirty twenty. So that hits. So this guy deals nine points of damage. Fourth guy misses. I'm rolling like ass. Fifth guy hits. What should roll the dice on your ass? For six points of damage. Unfortunately, I'm rolling six of damage. Righteous Shut himself. Up. Also hits. I rolled a natural 15 on each three attacks that hit. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but, you know, here we are. 
rolling ones and twos with damage dice though, so what the fuck does it matter? Um, damage is good damage. Marcus will also just he just whips out his fucking uh, what does he have again? His mace of his mace of disruption and misses. So uh, Prazi, mm -hmm. what do you do? Uh, well, for attacking, mm -hmm. I will probably this be hard because <laughs> like I feel like the more immediate charge when given is to protect these people these new people not the iron crusade so i don't think i'd run for well, you were presented them. to them as like you are their guard yeah that's what this, i mean on this particular um, mission so like your your primary objective yeah. right now is keep these new people safe okay i'll i will throw one of my javelins at them because i can do that and stay back here sure. near the people i guess Real attack. i'll do that Oh, I didn't even roll that in the dice tray. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, that's only a 13. That misses, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Um, Kes, what do you do? is not broken. I think you um, all just like, a, like one, like, surprise attack, round. Like yeah. one surprise attack, and then uh, shit's gonna kick off. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. One attack. Are the, are the, um, Ernie's considered surprised? Uh... That is 21 to hit. I'd say so, yeah. 21 uh, hits. Uh, I, yeah, they're surprised. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, like, not surprised uh, in the way, like, they... Su do, surprise uh, in 5e is weird, though. It's fucking weird. 11 damage, uh, 4 damage, and 3 thunder. Like, so I get two? I, I'm, so they're surprised as in like you all get an attack on them in before initiative starts to kick in. That's kind of yeah, okay. But yeah, there's no like surprise isn't a condition. Yeah, it's that's yeah, weird. It is it is a condition in five e. It, it is yeah, but it's fucking. But it's yeah. a weird one. What was your damage yeah. on the uh, uh, bell? Sorry. Eleven force and three thunder. Force and thunder. Let me quickly check. And I only get one eldritch blast, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So fourteen damage total. Uh, Lazarin, what do you do? Excellent question, what I do. Um, <laughs> how many of them? Can I get any of them? Can I get like a couple of them in moonbeams without hitting our our friendies? Or uh, are they they're kind of separated. In there? Like they. They're all in there. Because of their like experience and their like training, they they know not to. Like they're fucking yeah. smart. They know not to huddle up too much. They 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 separate themselves pretty well. But you can get I'll a moonbeam just... on one, but that's about it. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll just say you could flame one of them then. The fucking nearest on the left. Sure. Can I save you? Yes, please. I roll so shit at my attacks, and I roll natural 19 on the deck save here. That's crazy. End it all. No, but they're like minus four, right? No. No. Hey. Uh, Brooks, what do you do? I, I mean, which one's closest? How how close is the closest one? They're like right around the corner from the rocks that you're hiding behind, so they're within within fifteen feet of you. And they're not they they have yet to fly it up anywhere, right? Well they were up, but they landed. And that's when the Iron Crusade boys jumped them. Okay. Uh is it a full turn or just an action? Just an act just an attack. Just an attack? I Yes, I fucking punch him. What? Uh, the ten to hit? Yeah. Oh, I no, rolled a natural two. Not. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, Do I get damn. my second attack? Nope. The rest of them didn't. <laughs> so why would you? Uh, because okay, I, I rolled this a two. This is an attack, not an attack action. Correct. Correct. So I just get the one. You do. Yeah. It's uh, not yeah. Just make it sure. Just make it sure. Mm -hmm. So does Onu? Onu's not close enough. Do, is there any movement involved? Can Onu fly down also and attack? Or is sure, that because it's my I guess bonus? Onu, I'll, I'll I'm allow just saying Onu to because be... it's my bonus action. Is that? No. I'll for this instant I'll allow Onu to also get a lick in. Okay. All right. So Onu's my attack uh, misses. That's a natural four. Yeah, that misses. 
So just mark off an arrow. I'm gonna have no arrows left because I don't hit shit lately. Um, <laughs> and Onu's Pick attack up your arrows. is a natural twenty. So that, look at that. Yeah, that was, Damn. Onu MVP, bro. Four plus one plus three plus three. So eleven points of damage, but it's not magical. It's just Jeez. it's just regular ass piercing damage. All right. Uh, Jax. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Um, how grouped up are they? Not at all. Fuck. So they're not within a 10-foot radius of each other. Correct. Fuck. Alright, I'll just take a swing at whatever one you deem closest to me. <laughs> Go for it, mate. Uh, that's, uh... Oh my God. We're all rolling like ass still. Dagon's haunting us via our rolls. <laughs> what is your roll, Soko? 811. It does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, we'll save the initiative roll for after our break, but I think we'll take oh. our break here. Oh, yeah. And then, when uh, we do get back yes. and when we're rolling, just to let everybody know, you will get a bonus to your initiative if you're within 10 feet of me. Yeah, I'll, uh, during the break, I'll set up a map really so that everyone can figure out their positioning before we get into uh, the actual... Uh, We're all going to be clamoring to get thing. fucking close to Prezi. Yeah, we'll be mm -hmm. back in a few. Thanks for being here so far, guys. Appreciate yous. And uh, we'll get back to the second half of today's session in a few minutes. Take care. Be right back. This isn't by this food I got from doing... Great. Delivery. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Gamers. Rise up. Um, can I lay down? No. No. All right, so. Boom. Uh, there's a lot going on. Oh my god. But, uh, you see that there's two uh, of these, um, creatures that stayed behind. F four of them have approached you. Here, two are kind of being ganged up on by uh, by the Iron Crusade and, their, uh, and the boys. And then you have uh, these two right here in your immediate um, surroundings. Davian, you're, you're chilling up here for the time being. Yes, so, sir. Since you were, you know, you, you climbed up. Um, So, let's get into some initiative, shall we? And anyone who's within 10 feet of me gets plus three bonus to their initiative on top of whatever you already have. Oh, cool, I'm now so in double digits. Crusade. Brooks, Jax. Oh. Everyone else might be too far. Kess? Maybe, nice. maybe I'm, just. Like, I'm not negative anymore. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll say Brooks, Jax, and Kess. You, you get the, what is it? Plus okay. three? Initiative? Whoop, plus three. Yeah. Okay. Yes. From my aura of something. Oh, aura of something. On. My aura, aura of, something. of the my aura of the sentinel. I love being um, a crowbass. Bless you. Sorry. That's you. But I hit the mute button. <laughs> you good, you good. Never fucking sneeze on camera again. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Never eat anything without a cake fork ever again. True. Okay. Including spoop, including soup. Not allowed. <laughs> soup. I'm just gonna say to be with the, fork that <laughs> the Iron Crusade boys all go at the same time because that's gonna be a bitch to micromanage yeah. otherwise. Mm, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Initiatives twenty or more. Good. Amazing, lads. Awesome. Oh. awesome, awesome, awesome. Put uh, me last. Fifteen to twenty. Eighteen. Let's oh go. God. All right. oh. Oh, wait, wait. I got a fourteen. No, oh, fifteen. Fifteen. I got a fifteen. I'm going to think yes. I swear to God, Laura's about to roost you so hard off. You said I got a 14, and I'm like, that's not 15 that's to 20. Yeah, no, I got a 15. Okay. Um, 10 to 15? 12. 12. 12. 
12, 12. Who, which one of you has the higher decks? My decks is Probably 17. the Ranger. I think we're equal. We are equal. This is 17 years higher, yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm a Dexy wow. boy. Where does stereotype Dexy. Laura? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Some of us for you, have Bruce? no strength. But a fuckload of decks. Yeah, even with, even with the plus three, I got a 10. Wait. Five to 10? One to five? Three. Let's go. Yay. Two. Wait, so you two. were on zero? Two. I think, I think it's two because negative one plus three is two. All right. <clears throat> Let me just quickly uh, set all this up. Hold on. We need to start punishing this man for rolling onto zero. <laughs> oh, he's always got minus two decks, all right? Leave him alone. Yeah. Leave him alone. Oh, it is his fault he has yeah. minus two decks. No, it ain't. Actually, kind of is his fault, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Tiny bit. Yeah, but... Whoop. Suck my cock. Whoop. <laughs> Get it out, maybe, then. Maybe I will. Relax, Don't... guys. Relax. <laughs> um... Get me from him. Doesn't this like to OnlyFans? Boom. No. Oh, no, no, no I'm one wants that. Switch today, buddy. No, it's still um... anywhere. Um... It's just only Man, pictures we are looking the... great. Then he just picks the dice. Yeah. Uh, wow, this is Bill's um, dice collection. Oh dear God. Um, so she has like six new pairs every. Boom. Close up a dice. Just, oh. uh, boom. That's why I put some hot dice in your boom. area. <laughs> boom. It's not looking like good. This needs to be rolled. Oh, God, this is looking room. painful. Jax. Uh huh. You not last. No shot. <laughs> How am I not last? There's the, 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 the one that one? has rolled the natural one. So, you don't last. So did I. And they have apparently oh, you, no deck. Oh, you did as well. Ah, fuck it. It's in the turn. I had a now. negative fuck. one. Yeah, I don't fucking know how bad your dex is, little bro. Minus two. We'll say that the <laughs> bonus that you get from Prazzy will save you from going last, last. Okay, how about that? Great. Uh, all right. So, for this, Ernest numero uno is going to uh, attack Righteous. No, a boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a boy. And she is going to make three attacks with her long sword. They, as you see, this Eren Erenies just attack. She moves with very quick but precise uh, strikes, like it, blinking. You miss it fast, uh, kind of thing. First attack is a twelve, which misses. Second attack is a twenty-two hits. Third attack is a 24 hits. Two attacks hit. Um, one hand with a long sword. It's a D8. Si, senor. So, first attack misses. Second attack, righteous takes. Two, six. Ten, twelve. 14. First attack, he takes 14 points of damage. Second attack, he takes 16. That was just the first attack? Oh, oh boy! 20 points of damage. Guys, they're gonna die. It's okay if they die. <clears throat> and that is her turn, I think. Yes. Looks at my max HP. Yes. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna Eldritch Blast one of the ones that is really far away. That's, uh, what range do you have? Like, so much. Hold on. Oh god, do you have this fucking thing? 120 feet 120 or something. Foot. Uh, yeah. Oh, does she have the fucking amplification? Oh god. Because she has Spell Snipper. Oh no, it's just 120 No, I think it's... No, Eldritch Blast is just 120 feet, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. many tiles is that? Quick math. 20 tiles? No? 16. 24. 24. Okay, so yeah, you do have the range to hit either of these, yeah? Uh, I'll go with the one that you currently have selected. Why not? Okay. Fuck that guy. Break I'll back uh, First attack is a 22 to hit. Hits. Uh, second attack is a 26 to hit. Also hits. Uh, uh, max damage. 13 force damage and mm -hmm. 3 thunder. Okay. And uh, seven force damage for the second one. 
Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alright. This Erenyes is going to take... I guess I'll enable flying on him. Why not? You know, they can fly in that. <laughs> going to take flight. And uh, what movement do they have when flying? 60 feet! Oh. God oh, damn! Good. This one's 5. This one's 5. Mm, 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 Get here. And is then use a um, takes almost what looks like a like a bright blue lasso from from her waist and whip it at uh, you, Prazi, because you're right there, just out of her melee reach. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, natural 19 for a total of 25 to hit. Yes, that hits. Yeah. Uh, you take 5 points of, uh, piercing damage. Okay. As the lasso kind of like, sh like, just wraps around you, and you are considered restrained. Okay. Uh, but that is her turn. This one is going to also move 60 feet your way. 10, 15, 20, 20, 20. Right here. And is going to do the same, but with one of the Iron Crusade members. Uh, that also hits with a 22 to hit. Takes, ooh, he takes 10 points. Of, which one is that? Number five. 10 points of damage and is also considered restraint. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick marker to consider that you are restrained. Boom. It is now your turn, Prazzy. Okay. Um, did I spell it right, by the way? I think I did, right? It's Zed's, no S's, Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's Zed's. Um, I will... I think for now, we'll just go with... Is this an action or a bonus action? It has been. Okay. So for restrained, that means that you. I, my movement is zero, and their attacks have advantage against yeah. me, and yeah. mine have disadvantage, which and... sucks. And you have disadvantage on deck saves if, uh, if that happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, you so... have to in your melee right there, so you don't have to move per se. <laughs> so there's that at least. It's... Or, what I could do. This is concentration. Okay. Okay, why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, uh, so, uh, I will, uh, start, uh, speaking in Infernal and hold out my shield. And as I do, the, the symbol, the Iron Crusade is, like, carved into the front of my, like, metal plating. And then along my, um arms and beneath it there's also some writing in infernal that starts to glow um so brooks would since you're right near me and you can read infernal sure. the writing on me that glows are the infernal words for vigilance loyalty and discipline and as it and i say those three words out loud in infernal and as i do a um silvery beam of pale light shines down from the sky and i am going to can I put it in between those two, like, so it's at the diagonal point in between those two in front of me, so even though it's only a five-foot, like, beam, the edges of it would catch both of them, or is that not possible? Uh, well, if, like, one square is five feet, so if you focus it on this square, like, for the sake of gameplay-wise, I guess, right? What I'm thinking is, like, that little, like, oh, you where mean, the, oh, you mean, the, the corners, oh, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. You mean, like, like yeah. this? Uh, yes. Yeah. And would it hit yeah, those yeah, diagonal yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say so, yeah. Because it goes half into both of those squares, then, yeah, basically. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I will do like, that. Like this. Kind of. Yeah, they... So, when they start it, their turn there, or enter... So basically, yeah, it's Moonbeam. So, the start of I, their turn... I mean, it's five, it's five foot radius, so it's... Oh, it's oh radius, then it's ten feet total. Yeah. Then I'll go ahead and actually oh. put it in that square in front so it can maybe hit all three of them if that's possible because it'd be two tiles across. This also hit yourself, itself. just so you know. <laughs> I'll position it further up ahead enough, it's not going to hit me. Yeah. Maybe. If, it's, if you focus on if this. On that one. Wait, 
It's a five foot radius? Yeah, yeah so it's right. it's tiles. Four tiles one, across. One tile. One tile. Yeah, so, so one tile, yeah. Because you're drawing the radius, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You can fuck me, dude. This is, I'll just stick with I, I wish that they would. I wish that they would. It would stay. You know what I mean? Might yeah. Move off there. I. We'll just stick with a two if it makes it easier. We'll yeah, just stick with the yeah. Two. We'll say two. That, makes that we know we can easier. hit. Uh, I mean, yep. you can hit three and also yourself. Yeah. I don't want to hit myself. Yeah. No, no. So yeah, there's a moonbeam there now. Okay. Uh, that doesn't do anything until they start their turn, right? No. Sure. Yeah. It's either when they enter it for the first time or they start their turn yeah, yeah, okay, in okay, the moonbeam. Okay. Yeah. So that was my action. Mm -hmm. And then that's it, because I have zero cantrips. So there's nothing I can do as a bonus, and my only bonus actions don't really apply in this moment. Okay, okay. Because two weapons, I don't even have two weapons anyway. I'm sort I'm ma maul and shield. So yeah, well, that's I'll my turn then. All right. This gal is going to swing at this here uh, Iron Crusade member. Three precise quick strikes. One is a 13 plus six, 19 to hit, so that hits. Second one misses. Third one misses, so only one hits. I need like five more monsters. I know, right? Do I have everything open at once? Uh, but see some teethling deaths. I mean, they are. That is kind of their purpose. They're <sighs> they're like the fodder in anime right now. They are here there to are be killed, shots. so the combat seems dangerous. But we're fine. <laughs> Eight. I mean, I wouldn't say that we're fine because the last combat killed you. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Eighteen points of damage on oop. Iron Crusade member number four. All right. That is her turn. This one is going to move up to Jax. Oh, wait. That one starts its turn in... Uh, it starts its turn in the Moonbeam. Moonbeam? It has to make so... a constitution save, please. Uh, 24. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let me check if it's no damage or... Okay, they take uh, half damage. So it's go. half damage. So it'll still take some, which is satisfying. Uh, oh, that's not great. Okay. It's just the 2d10? Okay, it mm -hmm. takes 8 points of radiant damage. Radiant, you say? Yes, a radiant. It's very exciting. Okay. Oh, and if they're a shape changer, it makes that saving throw with disadvantage. I don't know if Erin is shape change, though. Uh, they do not. Okay. No. Oh, wait, sorry. I said it took eight points. So, no, it only takes four because oh. I needed to half that. Right, I rolled right, eight. Right, right, so, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Got it. This one is then going to take the step to leave the moonbeam and is going to attack Jax with three swift strikes with her sword. Before yeah. it does that, I will use my reaction mm -hmm. um, to impose disadvantage via interposing my shield between Jax and the Erini. With my protection. Is that just on her first attack or is it on all attacks? It just says you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. So, so yeah, the first attack that means... will be a disadvantage then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, with disadvantage makes that a 9 to hit. So that misses. Second it's attack. my shield instead. Second attack is a, th a 13 to hit, so it also misses you. Doesn't right? hit. Third attack is a 19 to hit. Does not hit. So. This, this, uh, creature, again, very swift strikes with her sword, but you manage to just, like, one of them bounces off of, uh, uh Prazi's shield, and the other two, you manage to just also, uh, Jax has a shield, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Pisces shield, so you also manage to block both attacks with, uh, with your shield. And that is her turn, and quickly enable flying on her. Okay, cool. And Lazarin. she's out of the moonbeam now, big sad. Yeah. Oh, I will bonus action spiritual weapon. I came prepared. Nice. Uh, I will kind of put it in between. You see where there's like Brooks, the thing, square above that? Mm hmm. So next to the two, I'll put it there. And I'll hit the one that's on the right. Okay. Flying one? Yars. Oh, they're all technically flying. It was the, this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're not flying; they're on the floor, but they are able to fly, so it just makes it yeah. easier. Easier. They're hovering. Yeah. Uh, seventeen to hit. 
Uh, just misses, unfortunately. Sure. They, they cool. do wear armor right. of the plate mill variety, and they're, uh, that... Oh, uh, they wear armor of the fucking cringe mill variety, actually. What the fuck? Uh, uh <laughs> fucking... I think you should remove his armor proficiencies for that. <laughs> Yours. Remove his spell slots for that. <laughs> uh, away. then I will, as an action, sacred flame the fucking one in front of Brooks. Okay. Dex save... Ooh, not good. Eleven. Fails? Oh, great. Huge rolls, huge damage, five points of radiant damage. Let's baby. go, baby. Woo! And then I like to uh, move uh, fucking back, back as I can when I can get back, me. Back, 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 no. Fucking Hold on. in that corner. <sighs> you, fucking, of corner. you fucking prick. Hold on. Nice. There you go, man. <laughs> just throw some more terrain out there. I mean, only just like like twenty feet back, but I won't get. I won't get. Oh, there God. You. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I got out you. Of you. <laughs> Cheers, man. Is it turn? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll just be like Davian. I'm just playing to the wall. From the top rope. Is still... From the top rope. Who was the the one that um cast shot with a a an eldritch blast that came from far away? Uh, ooh, that was. Is that one on the right? Is it number uh, six? Number six. Yeah, number yeah, six. Number six. Yeah, number six. Yeah, yeah. This one. Okay, I'm gonna hunt his mark number six. Okay, and just. Boop, uh, blah, 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 blah. Boop. And. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Go for it. Uh. Oh, natural 19. That'll hit. It's a 20 something. It's a, tw it's a 20. I just let me say it. It's a 27 to hit. That hits. Good sir. Yay! Four, eight, wait, eight plus the thirteen points of magical piercing. Magic piercing damage. Beautiful. Um, and then something that I've never done before. Oh. I'm gonna shoot her again. Damn. Ooh. And that's a twenty-four to hit. That also hits, oh. dude. The curse. Look at you go. My dude oh. hitting shot. Dead. Four, tw uh, wait, Four, 20. 15, 15, 15 points of magical Sheesh. piercing damage. Nice. Man, must be cheating. And then... She was you. Onu oh, is gonna fly uh, somewhere. Um, <laughs> who's in peril? Uh. <laughs> Onu is gonna go... Hang out with Brooks next to that guy. Yeah. I got a friend. Yeah. For once. Now it's my turn. Okay, okay. Uh, it is now the turn of the Iron Crusade members. Um, this one is restrained and is going to use his action to try and break free from the, the grip of the lasso. Which, with a 21, he will. So he's no longer restrained. Uh, but that will be his turn. This guy is going to just wail on enemies number one. The 14 misses. These three are all going to attack this one down here. My god. My god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. All of, all of them is cool. Why do you roll like that when you're doing like, saves and stuff? Huh? Yeah, the, the, the do I control session, the, the, huh? the, the, the die? Huh? Uh... You do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Righteous is going to attack this one in front of him for uh, 18, which just hits. So it swings his. he swings his sword. And the Ernius takes... Dude, I have so many dice on my fucking desk, and I'm like, where are my D8s? They're here somewhere, but just like... A, too many shapes on my desk, man. Just get um, more. For 14 points egg. of magical... Or silvered slashing, which I guess isn't magical, but, you know... Counts. It's magical enough. Magical enough for them to take full damage. You're magical enough. Brooks! Wrong. Aw. Uh... Is Onu helping me, or is Onu just here? Onu, the only 
action owner can take as a dodge action right now. So he yeah. is just vibing. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action rage. Go on. And then. Number one. Because there's no Bantam one here to give me advantage. I think that's Gerald. It has to be, has to be Jade, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no one here to give me advantage, I'm going to attack recklessly. Go on! He's got that now. He does the thing. Oh my god! Uh, it's a thing. 24 to hit on the first one. Yes. And a 17 on the second one. Just misses. Fuck! <laughs> I rolled a 5 and a 9 with advantage. Laura's cursed me. You're welcome. But that is a total of uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. 10 points of magical with bludgeoning. My magic, magic mm -hmm. knuckle dusters. Did so oh, yeah. someone get the Quaper Dice Curse? Or uh, that's action bonus action. Oh. Would you like to move anywhere? Yeah. I will step uh, forward and right so that I'm. Here. Yeah. Okay. In the mosh pit. In the mosh pit. Let's fucking go, dude. Alrighty. Marcus. Is going to use his action to blast. He's gonna start blasting. He's gonna step up here and he's gonna use his action to guiding bolt this one. Number four. Ooh, that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, 15 plus 7. 22 to hit! Hog. Marcus carries. We need to buy this man a, a beer and a hooker. <laughs> Five, well, four, you might not like four, hookers. Sixteen points of radiant might not like damage. Do you want me to say that it was? We need to take him to like an all expenses paid dinner at the elegant carafe. That's what we owe him. <laughs> we'll we'll take him get a massage. And this one now glows very bright. Uh, whoever attacks it next will have advantage. Does Marcus have any bonus actions that he wants to do? Uh... Oh, wait. If Brooks is there, isn't he in the moonbeam? Oh, true. There's a moonbeam there. I mean, I'm sure Brooks wouldn't have oh. moved in there, right? Then in that case. I mean, how much does Brooks know about moonbeam? You saw you've it in it both them in, in Radiant Flame. Have you used it, flame, used it plenty of times and it. you've seen what it does to people? Yeah, 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 you know. It yeah, it okay. them up big time. And it's Radiant Damage there, and there you are... Heart Tiefling. It feel bad. Yeah. There, there are a lot of... Doctor, I'm curious. Like, even just where you were standing, you probably just got mildly nauseous being close to it. <laughs> in, in the very bottom right of Tailspire, what is that little thing with the plus, a little marker with the plus on it? Can you use that to, like, indicate where Moonbeam is and stuff? I can't. Wait, what is it? Is it weird? Hmm. Hmm. Only when you hover, but it still means you can pull it up and see it. Yeah, but what are like the settings on it? Like, what, what what's at the bottom? Oh, never mind. This is stuff to play about with off stream. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, a creature, place cutscene block. Dude, this is what I want to What? See. You can convert a prop yeah. to a creature so we curious. can have something that's like on the board just like as like Become a thing. armor and then becomes a monster. That's terrifying. I so, I have no idea. Um, oh, well. I'm so, remembering. Yeah, if, if the moonbeam's there, there are a lot of spells that Brooks would walk into. That's mm -hmm. not one of them. No, I'll stay not. where I am. For now. All right. Uh, in that case, that's Marcus. There's nothing. Yeah, you can't do the spells. No, that's him done. Jax. Okie dokie. I actually get a turn. Um, I don't know, dude. I always like. I think I can hit something. That's the question. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try. I, we're just going to try and punch it twice by Thunder Gauntlet. In the blue corner. Go for me. <sighs> ding, ding. Okay. 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 26 to hit. Hit. Sweet. And a 13 to hit. Misses. <laughs> yeah, the sadness. I got one, I guess. <laughs> Well, <laughs> damage wasn't that good. Uh, it's seven points thunder damage. Seven thunder damage. Anyway, it's something. Whittling them down, as they uh, as they say. 
Sure. Anything yeah. else you want to do? Bonus action or uh... uh? Dome's not up, right? Correct. No. Then I will use my bonus action to give myself seven temporary hit points with my defensive heal. Hell yeah! All right, I didn't use number it. four. Is going to uh, attack Brooks thrice. Bitch. I mean, all, up, up. all up in her drill, right? I would help, but I already used uh, my reaction. 15 to hit on the first one? Me? No. 15 on the second one? Oh, she has advantage, remember, because I reckless. Oh, she does. Shit. Only on one attack, right? No, no all, all, all attacks. Um, Damn, you oh, are those two fifteens would have been the first one. No, I just rewired everything. Just rolled. Smile. Okay. I regret being nice and telling the truth, but okay. Mm -hmm. You would have gotten the same treatment, bro. Don't cry. Um, 21 on the first one. Uh, 17 on the second one. Just hits. And, ooh, 14 on the sec on third one. Oh, one of them missed. Okay. Uh, then. I mean, I did reckless. You did do that, indeed. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> I'll suck my dick. <laughs> Probably will. Ooh. Uh, okay, so the first Don't attack, me. you take six points. Nope, I'm lying. Nine <laughs> points. No, I'm lying again. Ten points. Fuck me. <laughs> nice. Stop lying to of us. Slashing damage. Half to five. Half to five. Wow. And an additional 18 points of poison damage. Yeah, I need another level in Barbarian real quick. Second attack, you take... Oh, give me one second. I'm going to have to write these down because D&D Beyond broke. Okay. Uh, so the first one was uh, five piercing to me and 18 poison. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the five was 10. Yeah. Second one is a lousy seven pierce, uh, seven slashing, sorry, uh, so three. Yeah. And a lousy uh, seven points of poison damage. Okay. Man's gonna oh. say a lousy 39 points of uh, no, 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 damage. No. So 33, po 33 points of damage total that would have been 40 if I'd not been raging. Wow. There go. Disgusting. Is turn. This Ooh, one. Uh, it's going to turn his attention or her attention to No, never mind, he's no longer restrained, so he she's just gonna keep wailing on fucking righteous. Three Hell swift yeah. strikes. One misses. Two misses. Oh natural twenty on the that went from a fucking two oh. to natural twenty. I was like, oh it misses again! And then it just it just did the fucking classic like lay steel. Um natural twenty on the last one. Which is gonna fucking hurt. Yikes. Uh, oh my god. Eight, six, four. That's that's just that's just thirty two damage right out the gate without even rolling. Holy fuck. Ooh, fuck me. Yo, what if Red just dies? <laughs> Game. Bad times. Then you have clerics. We will back. smile. Uh, ah, I can we... heal too. If we can't bring Dagon back, why would we bring Righteous back? True. Mm. Nice fucking 49 oh. points of damage total. And Righteous looks very rough. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, that's her turn. Kess. I'm going to tell the dead the one attacking Brooks. Okay. Roll a wisdom save. Okay. Roll, roll. Uh, that is row, row, a total row. of 15. Ah, oh, just does it. Never mind. Does it do nothing? That's it. Uh, made save? Nope. Unfortunate. Anything else you want to do? <laughs> just roll no. her forehead. All right. Oh, little keys. I didn't roll anything, dude. Ernez still has uh, Prazzy more. restrained. So it's going to close the gap. Oh, they're in the, they're in the moonbeam. Oh, they in are the moon in the moonbeam. Beam. True. Okay. So, so they have to roll a right? constitution, yeah. Uh, 20, dirty 20. So it takes half Okay, damage. well then they're gonna take half. So they take five points. That's already half. The radiant damage. Oh, so then double it again. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, 
Uh, okay. <laughs> now go ahead. Do what you're gonna do. Oh, gonna attack you thrice you. with advantage. Yes, because I am restrained. Big mm -hmm. sad. Why? Because uh, you're a little bitch. So it, is what it the, the one that's attacking me that has me restrained? Like, it's, it's lassoed me, right? Yeah, okay. so one hand she has the lasso, yeah. and the other hand is the sword, yeah. and it's just gonna fucking... Yeah. Uh, okay. First attack is a 14 to hit, though, even with advantage. Misses. Misses. Second one is uh, ooh, 20... Four to hit. That one hits. So shield Third catches the one first one. Is a seventeen to hit. Misses. Nice Only the second one. Alright. Hell yeah. So you take a total of If um, any of it's you might have to break up the damage yeah, depending uh, on you what take type it is. Seven points of slashing damage. Okay. And fifteen points of poison damage. Okay. Which I get the sense that a paladin at some point get like a resistance to that, right? I don't know if that's alright. Or uh, warforged. No, my, my warforged, 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 my warforged yeah. self is resistant to poison. Yeah, so half so. that, so seven points of poison damage in that case. Yeah, okay. shit, I don't need paladin. Ernia's numero six got shot at by a certain ranger. So I was going to Ooh. Uh oh. Towards, I guess, uh, from here, 5, 10, 15, 15, yeah, 60 feet, yeah, easy, easily, easily makes that. Uh, and is going to attempt to attack you three times. Davian? Uh, what the f- hold on. That's the one that you shot at. <laughs> she, she takes flight and uh, just zooms away. Yeah, she can take shite and okay. sh sh shmai shmai, okay, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, witty retort right there. First Whoa. one, Melly's pulled. <laughs> first one is a uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Second one is a natural one. Oh. Oh, that's exciting. Third one is a 17 to hit. That hits. Yeah. First attack, you take, wow, one plus four, five points of slashing damage. Love to hear that. And five points of poison. Oh, I don't love to hear that. <laughs> Second attack, you take seven points of slashing damage. Mm hmm. And ten points of poison damage. Mm hmm. And that is her mm. turn. Razi? Uh huh. Okay. Since I'm still restrained, is it. Just like a regular, what's the material, like the actual lasso that has me restrained? It's a very it... strange magical material. Like, think like Wonder Woman's like golden lasso. Okay. But it's so it's like, not just it's like, like it's some like regular a vibrant, ass thing. Light blue color. Okay. So I do not feel like I can probably break it. Um, well, you saw the other guy break free from it. Oh. It's just, it, it takes an act, it requires it would an be action. An, it would be an action? To try and break free from it, yeah. Any of my bonuses would drop the moonbeam, and I don't want to do that. Cause, oh, wait, I have to make a check for my moonbeam, because I got hit. Oh, true, 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 true. Um, so I took, I know I took seven points of poison, and then I took, what was it? How many points of slashing did I take? Also seven, I think. Five? So DC is ten. Yeah. DC's Am I going to have to make, like... Four concentration checks for my hunter's mark. Okay, I'm fine. All DC Uh, make one. I rolled an eleven. One? Moonbeam still. Well, would it be one for the for a DC, one DC thirteen 10. then? One DC ten. One DC ten. Yeah, yeah. I will take the action to break the restraint. I failed just it to anyway. <laughs> no, you didn't. I yes, I did. I rolled a three. Oh my god! All right, no longer hunter's mark. Uh, yeah, it's just like there's no role involved, Laura. It's just you have to spend an action to, to like untie oh. yourself. Okay, then I'll I'll do that. I just will like use the like pointed end of my shield and just like bring it down and like break or like sever the lasso. <laughs> and I don't really have. I want to leave the moon because one of them's still in the moonbeam right now, and it's yes. as long as it's intent on dealing with me. And my only other bonus actions are also concentration, so I don't really want to do them. And I can't do my two up. Yeah, no. So my my turn was just breaking the restraint and holding the moonbeam because it's also an action to move the moonbeam, I mm -hmm. believe. 
Yeah. Bonus action, uh, I believe, isn't it? I think it might be bonus action. I'm, I'm double checking. Uh, it's a bonus. On each of your turns, on, after you cast a spell, you can use an action to move the. Oh beam. my fucking god, it is an action. That's so crazy. So I'm. But I had to do it just to get rid of their advantage on the, you know, my attacks. And I want to stay here for a reason. So yeah, my turn is just breaking the restraint and yeah, holding fair. Moonbeam. That's it. All right. Number two is going to keep wailing on the one that she rolled on before. Uh, wow. Natural one, a natural four, and a natural seven. So all of them miss. Great. Mm He's -hmm. pissed. Uh, nice. Number three is going to keep attacking Jax. I'm gonna Sick, do my. Dude. I'm gonna do my reaction again. It. Actually, does, is Brooks now looking worse than Jax after all that damage? Brooks, Brooks took? has less AC. Though. I am not bloodied. Okay, I will. I'll continue to use. I'll use my protection and interpose my shield for the first attack on Jax. There's advantage on the first one. I happily take it. Uh, this advantage turned that into a natural three, so that one misses. Nice. Second attack will be a uh, fifteen to hit. Not. Third attack will be a 22 to hit. Fuck! This is my AC. Oh no! <laughs> Why, dude? Why did I hit me? So, Jax, you take 7 points of slashing damage. Oh my cock, that's my temp HP, bitch. As well as 15 points of poison damage. Alright, dude. That's fucked up. That's too far. Last low! Oh shit, my turn. You're uh, oh, shit. Um hmm. I uh will use my bonus action to try and hit that one again. That one's in front of Bru uh, Yeah, one that's directly in front of Brooks. This one, yep. Yeah. Oh swing. Oh fuck it. That's all oh god, it's so fuck. Well mate. For shit. For twenty four point. Good. 24 points of damage? 24 to hit. <laughs> yes. Hits. You're a mess, Squib. Clean yourself up. Clean oh. yourself up. Go <laughs> sober up. You're in the mud. I'm uh, in the mud, dude. In the mud. Uh, 12 points of force damage. Okay. And then... I will cast Garden Bolt on the one that's up by Davian. Garden Bolt on the one right here. Yeah, go for it. First level. Ow! Sorry, that's I hit my phone. Well, no, I don't think that's gonna do it. I don't think a fourteen hits, does it? That does mm. not hit, indeed. Gonna go. Gonna go again. I'm just gonna <laughs> stay where I am. All right. Stand back. Hey, Avian. Um. Got one kind of floating in your face right now. I see that. Um, I want to hit him with my sword. Is that doable? Yeah, of course. I, I'm not going to hit him. I don't really have a choice. Like, what else am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will whip out High Castle's Cutlass and take a fucking swing, I guess. That one. 12 to hit. Does not hit, unfortunately. And an 11 to hit. Also doesn't hit. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Onu is going to fly up here. Onu is also going to attack him. Actually, can Onu flank with me and, and get advantage? Sure. Should have done that first. I had advantage, really. Hey, but you know what? <laughs> Too late now. I mean, if you want to retroactive, no, 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 no. Do that if you no. want to backpedal. Onu, Onu's coming in hot. Okay. And it's a uh, fourteen for Onu. <laughs> also missed. So. <laughs> Evans has this one good turn in this combat. Baby. Oh, Duke's gonna fucking leave the campaign, I'm, dude. I'm unconscious next time, by the way. It could be worse. At least you don't like uh, have sunlight sensitivity. All right. Uh -oh. Iron Crusade Gang Gang is gonna 
these two are going to attack this one. Number one. Natural 18 plus... Yeah, that will hit. And the 23 to hit. So both hit. Ah! Oh my God. Or... 12 points of damage and 11 points of damage, respectively. Uh, uh, which one was it again? Number one. <laughs> Boom. And the other three are going to wail on this one, which is number two. Hit. 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 Four. Nine, eight, seventeen. Ooh, and seventeen. So thirty-four points total. Boom. Righteous is going to attack the one in front of him, which hits for. 13 points of damage. And he's going to use his bonus action to dump in a Divine Smite. Woo! Which is... What is the fucking damage die on that again? Boom. Bro. Wait, Laura, do you have Divine Smite on your fucking character sheet real quick? I do, yes. Um, What's the damage dice again? Well, for for me, I don't know if it might be different. Hold on, that's, that's Divine, well, divine Smite. Divine Smite. Divine Smite. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2d8 for a first level spell slot, plus 1d8 for each spell level higher. Yeah. And, but to a maximum of 5 uh, Undead and Fiend get an extra d8, right? Oh, the damage yeah. d d increases, yes, if you buy 1d8. So, for an extra 16 points of damage, Radiant, I believe. So, yeah, this 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 one is looking absolutely fucking destroyed. Uh, barely hanging on. Brooks! I look at the one in front of me. Mm-hmm. The fucking there's terrain in the way. I can't move to flank with Prezi, can I? On the one in front of me. Uh. Lots of spiritual weapon chilling there. Nah, it's no really... like like to the left of the spiritual weapon. There's terrain blocking that, right? Yeah, there oh. is. There is. There is. Okay, then. I'm going to. Attack recklessly. Go on. Oh, Natural 20 on Ooh. the first one. Uh, so that will be... 11, 13... It's fucking 1 on the damage die, so 14 magic bludgeoning. Okay. Still up? Yes. Uh, 24. Hits. For... Uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Is that max? Yeah. Nice. Six right. plus five plus two raging. Uh, bonus action. Flurry of blows. Still reckless. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. Yes. And pummel that's this one into eight. oblivion. That's 10 points of non magic bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I go again. Go on. It's a 24 to hit. Hits. It's a 7 points of non magic bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, you are pummeling the absolute shit out of this one. And somehow. Still just kind of dazed, but still still standing. 
Oh gosh. Is anyone looking bloodied right now? Your friends? Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Oh, Righteous, me. I guess, if you consider him a friend. Huh? Well, I mean, Righteous has got... Does Righteous seem to be holding their own, or like... For the moment, they've, yeah. They've got people around them. He's fine. He's got. He's got. He's got his boys. None of the party are bloodied, right? Like Davian's in a shit position, but there's fuck all I can do to help him. Davian said he's going unconscious next turn. What do you mean? Oh, 100 percent. Not can to I get up again. to where Davian is. I'm not is? bloodied by any means, but he really rolled low on all of those attacks. There's no way I'm not oh. here next turn. Like, there's no way. Like, I know that that's not a. It's not a, an actual pillar, right? He's just high, high up on terrain. Yeah, he's just high up on terrain. Yeah. <sighs> Can I get up to him, and how much movement would it take me? There is a rope with a grappling. Oh, I guess I would have taken that away, so it wasn't didn't give me away. So maybe there isn't a rope. Uh, well, to get to that edge will be 15 feet of movement. Climbing it, it's pretty high up, especially without like an access point. It's pretty high up. That would be like your action to climb up there. If only I was more of a monk. Uh, yeah, I can't help the dude. I can. I have 50 foot of movement, but if it's going to take my action, then get fucked, I guess. I'll wait till you go down. Um, Very cool. <laughs> I mean, he's not bloodied. Like, I have no reason to go over there. Well, we know. We're going to be carrying more than so a cat. So, is that your turn? Which one was Prezi attacking again? The north one or the side one? The one directly in front of me has taken, is the one still in the moonbeam? And that's all. I've only attacked via Moonbeam this whole True. time. And the one to the right of me took some Moonbeam damage, but is no longer in the beam. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother to flank with that one because it's in a Moonbeam. So yeah. I guess I'll just stay where I am. Fuck it. Okay. Marcus is going to... Guiding Bolt, the one harassing Davian. Second level. Um... Damn. A 19 to hit. So that hits. It's 5d6 radiant. Better kill a motherfucker. That's a lot of damage. Four, seven, nine, twelve, seventeen. So 34 is radiant. Smile. A zinger. Damn. Number six. And he dies. Looking very rough. Oh. She dies. <laughs> it dies. Yeah, they're she. Well, right. they were described as feminine presenting, yeah, but who I the fuck knows? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if uh, devils have the same. Uh... I mean, they got a fuck, right? True. 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 They do got a fuck. Baby Aranyes have both. Um. Yaks? Maybe they have neither. Yaks? Yeah. Hold on. Um, Why is he Swedish? Do I want to help Davian? That's the question. I just like the yeah. <sighs> yeah. I well, guess that's my name now. It's either I try to hit and probably don't do anything, or I maybe help Davian. I mean, I just listen. I'm not bloodied. That's all you need to know. I know. Yeah, but you ain't bloodied. But you're so useless. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> First round of combat, I fucked that bitch up. True. Okay. All you That's know. why she's over there and now. Then, yeah, but what have you done for us since then? Big broadhead arrows sticking out of her fucking armor, and she's bleeding and she's angry. I he's love how dude has you. gonna be the one bleeding. She's gonna. Pay I you. love how he's done more for this team than I have. Okay. Yeah, you're getting the attitude. Getting you're projecting, literally projecting. You're projecting. I mean, counterpoint. You got us here in half the time. Yeah, but uh, counter counterpoint. Really it was my that. idea to do so. Counter counterpoint. Oh. I made the character, so I win. <laughs> I hate nice. you both. I hate everyone um, here. Let's play D and D. So on Next. both of my attacks, I rolled a thirteen and a fourteen. Miss miss. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... try and activate my defensive field. Okay. That's all I got. This Ernie is going to continue to attack Brooks. 
With advantage, with advantage. because he's a reckless son bitch. Because I'm throwing haymakers. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, it doesn't hit. 23 to hit. That hits. Uh, 21 to hit. Uh, that hits. Right. First attack. Wow. Four point. No, five points of slashing. Slashing. And After two. C. And, and now a billion poison. poison. Thirteen poison. Thirteen. Yes. Basically a billion. This uh, sucks. The other attack that hit is uh. Blah, blah, blah. They got fucking purple worm poison or what? Seven slashing. Cool. So three. Yep. As well as. Yep. Eight, yep. nine, fifteen poison. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Not I good. am heavily bloodied. Okay. Uh, this Lovely area is, is going to. Oh, wait. Which one? This one. Number one. This one right here. I swear I was trying to pay so hard attention. I missed the one that was in my moonbeam this turn. Why? You did. This Why? one isn't. No, I don't think they have had a turn yet, to be honest. But it's this, it's this one. I thought Kess was like top of the initiative. I oh, am. Yeah. Well, no, I'm after one of them. Yeah, num Kes after number one. Maybe I'm just yeah. mixing up when I the rounds no like started and ended. Oh, one well, one of them that. ends it. One uh, of them ends the initiative, and one of it start. One of them starts it. Yeah. So this enemy is going to attack the Iron Crusade member three times for a 17 to hit. So that hits. 20, no, 19 to hit. That also hits, and a 10 to hit. So that misses. So two attacks hit, and he's gone. She's gone uh, 5, 11, 14, uh, 18, 22, 27, 33, 34, a total of 40 points of damage. Yeah, she cuts down this um, Iron Crusade member. Rip you. Uh-oh. That is her turn. Yes. Okay, fuck this. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Uh, the first beam's gonna go for the one attacking Brooks. Okay. 22 to hit. That'll hit. Heck yeah. Ooh, that did not go in the fucking tray. Uh, that is 11 force damage. 11 force damage. As you uh, hit this Erinyes uh, with your Eldritch Blast, you just completely blast a hole in her torso, through her armor, through her through her chest, out the back, and her body crumbles to the ground. Gaslight gate, you garbage. I only bitch. got one. And then the second one's gonna go for the one attacking Davin. Okay. She's trying to kill Steel. Shit. That's like gatekeep. Ooh, natural 20, dude. That'll hit. Nice. Dude. That'll hit. Uh, 13 force damage. Uh, plus. Uh, is it plus bonus as well? Is it just, it's just oh, full just dice, right? Full max damage. One full dice. And then you plus, roll. Plus, uh, you know, you, you roll on top of An that. extra roll. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so th uh, 16 force damage and 3 thunder. Fucking pog. Okay, so 19 damage to Ayanara! She's staying with my children. She's rough as fuck. Aww. She has that. Just a one more mm. punch and she will die. Is that your turn, uh, uh, Kess? Did, did yeah. he say that fire would do nothing to that? Yeah, those that... were his words, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I be Oh, is this the moonbeam yeah, one? This one is in the moonbeam. Ah, roll a con. Yay! Davian pogging out getting five when we're in the jungle. Uh, in 25. The house. Okay, so they take seven Ooh. points. That's already halved okay. of radiant damage. Oh, wait. Radiant, right? Yes, radiant. Okay. Radiant damage. This one is going to attack you thrice. Yes. Razzy. Uh-huh. Uh, 15 to hit. Misses. 
19 to hit. Just hits. Oh my goodness. And then 18 to hit. So only the one. All right. Isn't it great playing something with high AC, Laura? That's kind of fun, right? I know, it's fun. <laughs> Real I mean, fun. Dragon could have not terrible AC, but... Uh, you dies anyway. take 10 points of slashing okay. and 9 points of poison. Okay. I'm bloodied now, but by bloodied it just means that there's more steam pouring out from, like, Leaking gaps oil. and, and <laughs> armor that was not pouring out before. Uh, this Erin is going stabbing. to attack Davians. 11 to hit. Does not hit. Natural one. That Hold. hits. 15 to hit. That doesn't hit. Woo! Oh shit, alright, there you go. I'm fucking... <laughs> Listen, Ducking I've never looked so good with a sword, okay? Ducking and weaving. I might have to be a swordman from now on, especially the last fucking end of the last session. Fucking carrying her as she tries Harry, to... Harry. No, a Sammy. swordman. Yep. A swordman. Uh, Prazi. Alright, since sword, now actually. I'm starting to take some knocks, and I'm, feeling, I'm gonna... And I'm no longer restrained, I'll go ahead and start going in with my maul to attack yeah. this... Oh, we're going bitch. to the maul. So, first attack in... Is... No, I want my actions, not my spells. Uh, 23. Yes. Uh, I need my d6. And I'm gonna put a divine smite oh, into that. Oh, I just love the paladins can just say they want to smite after they know whether they hit or not. It's great. I feel like yeah. I'm happy to declare it before. You mean after they know? No, literally, rules are written. You know who else can do that? Rules are written. Rules written, paladins. You can nat 20 and then. I agree, I think it's kind of silly. I think you should declare it. You can nat 20 and then be like, I'm gonna dump all of my spells. You know what else can do that? Davian. So. so, uh, so the normal roll You need is, to hit for that, Duke. Um, 12 points of bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. And then the Divine Smite. I use a first level spell You get the extra D8 because this is A first is level spell swat? Yeah. Spell swat? Okay, so I get 3D8 because mm -hmm. it's a fiend. Yep. Exciting. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, so many twice. Hey, I'm excited. Okay. Store. So that's that one is cocked. That's unfortunate. Okay, you that is for six, Laura, seven. You're gonna miss it when we bring Dagon back. Seven points of radiant damage. On three d eight. Wow. Four, the fuck? A four, a two, and a one. It was unfortunate. Right. It was a bad time. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I don't have any bonus actions I can do that wouldn't make the moonbeam drop, and it's still in the moonbeam, so I'll leave it there. So that's it. That's my turn. Do I get one attack? Oh, wait. Pfft. Yeah, right. I get two. Uh -huh. All right. Next attack. Oh, but that one's pretty shit. That misses. That's a 13. Yeah, that does miss. Exactly. Okay. Uh, this... Wait, is oh. this? Oh, this is an action as well. Okay. Yeah, that's me done. You good? All right. This one is going to keep wailing on the one that he's been wailing or she's been wailing on, to be honest. Seems, seems good. Uh, 15 miss, 19 hit, natural one miss. Dude, I've been rolling a lot of natural ones, actually. It's kind of concerning. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For a total of 6, 10, 12, 20, 24 points of damage. This uh, particular Iron Crusade member is starting to look pretty fucking rough as well. I mean... Why fix what ain't broke? This Ernest is gonna. She's pissed because she keeps missing a lot against Jax, but she's determined to strike through at one point. She ain't gonna do shit. Fuck that bit. Uh, 17 to hit? No. 24 to hit? No. That's a lie. <laughs> and an 18 to hit? No. I think there was a second <laughs> where that's just like, oh, really? And then was like, wait a second. That's a lie. Um, Give me another couple levels and I'll make it happen. Four points of Don't slashing worry. and 11 points... Uh, no, five points of slashing, 11 points of poison. That's not as bad as last time. Last low! What you get, what you get in a week? Uh, how... Uh, Bless you. How bloody is the boy looking? Who's the boy? It'd be a uh, fucking... Uh, Brooks. Cat. No, you're fine. It's I okay. Will... No. 
I will run up 30 feet. <laughs> One cat bricks. died and another arises. Did I just not hear Ethan or is he just fucking donor walling you? He's donor walling. Yeah, donor walling. Oh, nice. How bloodied is Brooks? I'm. What do you mean? I'm bloodied. You're bloodied? Cool. I run 30 feet straight forward then. And I will cast Cure Wounds on Brooks at first level. Nice! <laughs> I, I gotta save some spell slots, gamers. I've been using I don't know what he's gonna roll, but I know that I'm still bloodied. <laughs> what, the trauma has not hit that hard yet. <laughs> 11? 11. I'm still bloodied, but yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Bonus action, fucking spiritual weapon's gonna on that one that's in front still. Mm -hmm. A natural one. Oh, that misses. So it's, it is gonna just it's gonna just throw itself in the lava or something. Like, eh. No, <laughs> it's we stupid. Idiot. I start yeah. doing my best javelin impression. Just start shouting my spiritual weapon. Like, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Was wow, that your turn? it was a long time. Uh, yeah, it's my turn. That is enough. All right. I think it was right. two times. To ensure tactical efficiency here, <laughs> owner is going to attack. Go on. The guy. You're on that twenty now. He's about to be fucking pissed. <laughs> Wait. The strategist has twenty-five to hit. Yes. Owner's a fucking G, dude. Mm. Oh, oh my god, I can't get it in the hole. That's what she's <laughs> I'm such a child. Wait, seven points of non magical piercing damage. Seven points of non magical? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Still up, but barely. I fucking can't stand What's happening? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, children. All right, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> me wow my fucking cutlass. <laughs> what? With a <laughs> seventeen to hit. Just me misses. wow. Ooh. With a seventeen to hit. <laughs> I rolled an 11 and a 12 both times. An 11 and a 12 both times. <laughs> Yo, that was good? No, she's not. No, she's not. That's not the sound of someone who's good. Just, there's right. some epic, there's some ting, 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 you know, going on up there, man. He, she's flying, hey, you know I'm what, swinging. Dude, if it makes you feel any better, I'll say that she used a reaction to parry you and a, a razor AC. Yeah, fine. I can't fucking hit her. Yeah. <laughs> My man better. literally used a reaction just to make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the lubed up ego stroke. Okay. So. Wait. Oh. Wait. I'm waiting. I have bonus action only attack. I have attacked twice. <sighs> go next. No, okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. Cue up and go next, bro. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't hit my shot. What the fuck? Davian's now officially Swedish. <laughs> These three are going to attack this one. As they have been doing or trying to at least. Is this what happens now? There's no divinity. We're just beamed on something. Oh, I just yeah. can't hit my shots today. <laughs> uh, two of them miss, but one rolls a natural 20. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> How have they not killed anything yet? Brother in Christ. Uh, they keep they killed an Iron world. Crusade dude. There's an Iron Crusade guy. When now. they do hit, it That's fucking sucks, but they don't hit as often. They killed, they've, they've gotten one guy How down. How the Iron Crusade not killed those guys? Yeah, they keep wait, missing! Wait, wait. Oh no, I rolled with advantage every time. I was gonna say, oh, the guiding bolt, the guiding bolt, but I was already rolling with advantage. True. <laughs> so it makes no they keep difference. missing, Soko. That's how. <laughs> Fire and mist. This Iron Crusade guy is going to attack <laughs> this one. Fire and mist. 19 to hit, so it hits. <laughs> and I'm just for at. several hours. <laughs> I didn't know what I was aiming at, so you guess I could say I missed. <laughs> and you guys don't have your brain down. Now. No. This Erin Mills. 
Hell yeah! But there you go. Oh, I'm something. fucking. Oops, I'm lying. I did the I did the wrong thingy. Oopsie. Uh, who, oh, you fucking. This one fuck. was this one was supposed to die. Ha ha. So this one was dead. Lol. Ha ha. Fucking just. Don't worry. It's P values are about the same anyway, so who cares? All right, Bro, righteous. Adapt, adapt, improvise. Gonna attack <laughs> this one and pump in a fucking smite if he hits. Sir. <sighs> Oh. 21, so that hits. Yeah. Alright, but bada bing, bada boom. It's uh, 10, 14 slashing plus 13. Oh my god, uh, 21, 42 points of radiant. This one's fucking get, gets nuked. Oh shit. Holy fucking self, holy shit. <laughs> Dead as fuck. Hey. Also, all you can do is taunt them a little bit, and this guy just fucking killed two of them. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Jeez. Brooks. Oh, you never hard. guess what I'm gonna do. You're gonna hit things hard. Get fire. Yeah, Moonbeam's still up, fire. right? Yeah. Oh. Moonbeam is still up, yes. If I, I hit the not... one that's in Moonbeam, oh, am I gonna wait. take Moonbeam? I did roll concentration check on my last time. And I took. No. I think I, I took 10 points of slashing and 7 so points DC's of poison. So DC's 10. DC's 10. For right. both? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, natural 20 on the first one. What a time for that. Oh. And a natural one for the second. So there is no Damn. more Moonbeam. No Moonbeam's moon gone. Wait, did you get hit by, by Moonbeam? Well, no, it was the one attack, but do I roll for Yes, two? so it's just one concentration. Oh, no, it's just oh, one. Then I'm then... keeping the nat 20. The Moonbeam's up. I rolled the 21st. Yeah, so. there you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. If fine. I attack no. something that's in Moonbeam, am I going to no. take Moonbeam damage? No, because no. no, you don't enter the space, nor do you start your turn. Yeah, and it. that one is already on the very edge of the Moonbeam anyway. Like, they're yeah. just inside it. So you'd be next to them, you'd be out of it. You'd be fine. Good. Yeah, yeah, I could move up one and not be in the moonbeam, but if I yes. tried to flank, I would be in the moonbeam. Yes, you would. Okay, so I'll move up well, one. Well, you don't have to move up. Oh, yeah, don't. I'm fucking... Right. Mm, I'm stupid. Right. Uh, you'll never guess. Where I'm going to attack thing? recklessly. <gasps> no way. It's a dirty 20. Yes. For nine points of magic bludgeoning. Mm-hmm. Uh, 19. Hits. Fucking cunt. Eight points of uh, magic bludgeoning. Uh -huh. uh, flurry of blows. I need Jay to stop launching fucking Apex. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a <laughs> bucket. Do it. Turn your notifications off. I, I, normally I yeah. have. I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, 18. Just hits. This damage die can eat my ass. Nice. Uh, eight points of non-magic bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And then, and of course, of course, it's the non-magic. Oh, get the fucking natural twenty. Hey man. Uh, Countered the resistance. Smile. But I rolled a six, so eighteen points of non-magic bludgeoning damage. Okay. Is that your turn? Good shot. Um. Uh... Uh, but, but, but I have fucking 50 foot of movement and free disengage because I uh, flurry blows. So I'm going to move all the way around this entire combat and stand down. Uh, keep going like all the way. Circle around Jax. Here or you want to? Whoa. No, like pass to Jax's right and then up one. And then if I go diagonal left, I'm not going to be in Moonbeam, right? Because the Moonbeam no, is more are. north. I think you are. Yeah, the Moonbeam that is, is... That is where the Moonbeam yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Well, yeah. I'm muted. Yeah, the Moonbeam moon is centered on that little diagonal. Moon, that that moon point where beam? all those four squares moon connect. Beam. So all those okay, four squares connect. Okay, then I'll stay there connect. and I'll flank with Prezi. Okay. That's my turn. Marcus. Marcus. <sighs> Going to... Spells, let's see. Oh, you have a lot actually. Okay. Ah, another first level guiding both of the one harassing Davian for an uh, 18, which just hits six, ten, eleven, fourteen points of radiant. Which, uh, yeah, so Davian, you look and you see. Oh, bleh. As this uh, Ernius just gets struck out of the air by uh, a blinding beam of light and just collapses down, falls down to the floor. 
And you can see Marcus kind of still pointing his mace at her. Or where she was floating previously. And that is his turn. Jax. <sighs> I guess I'll just try and beat the shit out of the one that beat Bullman. on me. Well, mutual beating. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A bit of a beat off, you might say. Okay, relax. <laughs> uh, no. Shut up. No. I'm so over this, dude. I'm fucking That was done. instant karma. I rolled two fours. Two. It, it's what you deserve. It's what you deserve. It's just, uh, I'm re bro. Go next. I'm re All right. Go next, bro. Because that's how DD works. Guess Go next. I'm going to pull the dead, the one in the middle. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's a con save? Wisdom. Wisdom. Ooh, that fucking... Ooh, dude, that went from a fucking natural 19 to a natural 1. Hey! Nice. Fucking... Toll the dead. Yeah. Roll the bed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, Roll the bed. 21 necrotic damage. Necrotic? Just down. Yeah. Jesus, rock it now. Number three. Um. And three thunder. <laughs> All right. I forgot about that for a second. Anything else? Thunder. Uh, no. No. Okay. Smugness. This Moonbeam. area is Moonbeam. Can't save, please. Can't save. Uh, thirteen. Oh, I rolled like garbage. That just makes it. That is the save. Okay. Um. So they only take three points of radiant damage. Every little bit counts. Exactly. Uh, she's gonna... She's gonna take flight and fly straight up. So you do get do a type get... of opportunity. I was just about to ask. <laughs> uh, oh. It was on a double digit, and then it rolled over to a two for a total of ten. Misses. So that's a no. And she uses her movement to... Fly all the way over Jesus. there. Fuck off. What a bitch. Razzy! Alright. I'm tempted just to be petty to move the moonbeam to follow her, but that would kind of be a waste. Uh, I should just attack this one right here because I get advantage right now because of all the people to flank it. Alright. First attack. I stole that garbage. That's a 17 to hit. Just misses. Ugh. Second attack. Oh, yeah. Fuck! I'm rolling, I'm rolling single digits again! That's a 15! 15. 15 also misses. <gasps> ah! I'm upset. Um, This is really sad. I'm not happy about any We're of that. We're a great party, guys. <laughs> Not happy about any of that. And then just like there's a thing I could do, but doing it just to feel useful is a very big waste of resources. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be hate. Uh, oh, I guess fight? that's my turn. Okay. This Wham! one is also gonna I'm take upset. flight. Uh, because you had a turn, Prazi, your reaction is back. So all three of you here get a reaction to try and uh, you know do anything if you if you if you want attack opportunity oh. afterward. Yeah. Did I roll better this time, do we think? Nope. That's a 13. Oh, I'm back on the single digit train, guys. It's bad. Mrs. Did I give me a brief uh, ease and... Brooks and Jax, do you want to use your target opportunity at all? Yeah. Always. Not? Did... I love missing more attacks. Am I stupid? Laura, you rolled with advantage, right? <gasps> no. Am I not <laughs> flanking with you? You are. But I don't know if that accounts for an opportunity attack. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's all the Oh, time. I mean, I rolled worse in the second one, so yeah, oh, never mind. For God's sake, I tried. I rolled a five and then a three. Oh, Let yeah. Just, I'm just checking something because I reckless. Uh, 26 to hit. Hits. Or 10 force damage. 10 force damage. Okay. Okay, I don't get advantage because reckless is only on my turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you get advantage. But I do get advantage because I'm flanking. Why did I bother to look? Uh, at 19. It's three. 
10 points of magic bludgeoning. Okay. And she's also going to fly this way. Lazarin. That's quite annoying. Hmm. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Fuck all, really. Um. I mean, I'll move up thirty feet forward, like to the right deck. That's not me. That's that not me. It's not you. You're right. That used to be you back in the day. It used to be me. Uh, thirty feet. Like which like, way? Like the Agnes? So like, yeah. Up here, I guess. Uh, and then. I guess I'll. <sighs> God, what do I do? <laughs> Cry a little bit. I'll just sacred flame the one that is on that right there that went away first. Dex save. Uh, Natural one. Coward. Um, it's be a coward. Not, not mm. you. To the ones running oh, okay. away. Okay. Just, just like, calling you a coward. <laughs> like, bruh. But also, you're a coward. For five whole points of radiant damage. Okay. So okay, what? Everything counts, especially when it's radiant. Uh, bonus action. I'll uh just move my spiritual weapon just like twenty feet forward. <laughs> Fuck it. That's the least I can do with it. Okay. Pretty sure it's only twenty feet. Yep. Guardian. Okay. Well, uh, since my bow is on the floor, um, Whoop. what the fuck is what's happening? No, they're running. They're running. Yeah. They're fucking dipping. Uh, do they both look fucked up? Both look bloodied. Yeah. How far are they from Onu? This one about 11 tiles, so 55 feet, and this one also 55 feet. Well, Ono has a flight speed of 60 feet, so he's going to chase after the topmost one. Oh, yeah. And he is going to attack it. Uh, oh, God, it doesn't have advantage, that's for sure, unless I've been guiding Bolt that it did recently. Nope. Uh, but that is a natural 19, so 25 to hit. It's. He's making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> making yourself look or, bad. Oh, God, the bare minimum again. Um, seven points of non magical piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll shoot two Eldritch Blasts at that. Same one. Ah, uh, yeah, this, yeah, the same one. Okay. First order blast is a twenty-four hits to hit, and the second one is a twenty-one to also hit. Hits. First one is oh, no. uh, six points of damage, but I'm also going to use favored foe. Okay. So that's an extra D four. So that's nine points of damage for that first order blast. All right. And then the second Eldritch Blast is seven points of damage. This one falls out of the air and drops okay. down. Yeah. Uh, Iron Crusade drop their swords and all four of them that are standing are just going to fire their longbow. <laughs> this all four has. of them whip out bows? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, they all carry bows on their back as well. They're geared, bro. Uh, 21 to, to hit. Natural one, cool. Only three to hit. Nineteen, so three of them hit. Uh, nice. Long bow. And these arrows that they're firing are also like they have like silver arrowheads. Uh, Thirty-one points of damage total by all three of them, like in total, which is enough to also. Shoot this one out of the sky before she can flee properly. And with that, um, with that, hold on, I am missing so much shit. I did not have like OBS open at all, and I just see a bunch of fucking gift subs, thanks, and all yeah. that. I guess Jesus. Thanks, I, I guess. I don't have enough fucking screens, man. Oh my god, wait! I didn't. I, just, I didn't see this either. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, oh fuck! Happened? 
Jeez. I we were doing combat things and I didn't have OBS open like at all past after the break and I just come back and I see that. Jesus. All right, but thank you so much, guys. Stealth really hype train. It. Literally a stealth <laughs> hype train. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, with that, uh, all the threats have been eliminated. Uh, how many Iron Crusade members are down? One of them. I'll walk over and um, just like kneel down and place a hand on their chest. And again, you see those like infernal runes on my arms and chest light up and use lay on hands to give five hit points back to that yeah, member. As you do that, he uh, opens his eyes and <gasps> thank you very much. <sighs> And they all kind of gather themselves, and Righteous walks up and... Oh, I don't know about you, but... Uh, oh, I think I broke something. Oh. Uh, I... I I keep saying, like, I, I reply, I'm like, I'm not playing a character. I have to narrate how I do it anymore. I can just talk. True. <laughs> I am also leaking. Uh, and I, I go into, like, the the component pouches like various bags attached to parts of it and just start looking for like basically what looks like D, D duct tape and just kind of i suggest we uh, pairing up some gaps <laughs> in my armor i suggest we enter the ravine before backup shows up and uh, get a bit of distance mm -hmm. and then we'll find an alcove to uh catch our breath for uh, for a little bit how about how does that sound sounds like a good plan to me yeah and uh yeah you all kind of just venture on into this 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 Crevasse, this, this this beginning yeah. of a ravine, um, dimly lit. Um, as you venture deeper and deeper, you do feel that you're descending. And above you, there's no like roof, so it's a it's a proper ravine, as in like you're there's lights coming in yeah. from above. But the deeper and deeper you go, it go kind of transitions from bright light to dim light purely because of like the distance that the light has to travel and doesn't really. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of shadows going on the deeper and deeper you go. But eventually, <clears throat> about after about 15, 20 minutes walking, Righteous uh, spots a little alcove uh, into uh, the, the cavern, the side wall of the ravine. I think there's enough distance between us and uh, the entry point for now. I suggest uh, maybe take some time here to, to take a quick rest. Maybe take a drink of water, patch, patch ourselves up, and um, we... Uh, I think it's about another half an hour march before we leave this ravine and we'll uh, be able to lay our eyes upon the Serpent Fort. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I could maybe do with a bit of a rest. Yeah, so do you need you any healing? I would appreciate some time for repairs. If you guys want a short rest and use some hit dice, uh, you can. Yes. What did yes, please. You say, Bell? Do you need any healing potions? Oh, me? Hmm. No, but thank you. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna use just... four hit dice right now, maybe. Let's see. Fuck it, dude. Real fucking I suspicious. I only have of four that. hit dice left. Real <laughs> fucking um, suspicious of that. Seven. Mm, hold on. One. Marcus is going to use his channel divinity preserve life. Uh, which means that as an action, he can restore 30 hit points, choose any creature within 30 feet of you, and divide them among them. So who looks the most rough? Like, who looks I the was... Is this before righteous? we rest? Yeah, this is like as the rest is going. So he's... Oh, uh, I, I'm fine. I, I was, was bloodied. At, I, I was at like 30% before I used my hit dice. So he'll... Yeah, so Davian... Cool. Okay, actually. I, I was just over 50%. Okay, so Davian... I was... Uh, I was... Prazzy, Brooks... I was under a quarter. No, I was over a quarter by he'll, one. He'll give Prazzy 10 HP, he'll give Brooks 10 HP, and he'll give Righteous 10 HP then, because Righteous Because of that, I'm at full again! Yay! Yeah. So, That's you so three exciting. get uh, 10 hit points each. Or you two and Righteous, I guess. Hell yeah. There you go. I'm going to spend the, another hit die. That is much die. appreciated. Thank you. I am I'm leaving myself for a short again. on hit die. No worries, friend. Glad uh, Clant to be able to help. This fucking guy rolling in D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, unless there's something you guys want to do or discuss during your r short rest. 
Um, yes. That's suspicious. <laughs> uh, Kaz is gonna sit next to Brooks. <laughs> Why do you okay. get so afraid? Because I don't know what you're about to do. Stab. And it's you. Outrageous. Are you, are you are you okay? Yeah, I mean, I got my fucking teeth kicked in a little, but we've had worse. No, I just mean. You've been really quiet since yesterday. It's a bit of a shitty situation. And as much as I don't take a lot of things very seriously, I don't think that's going to help at the moment. That's fair. Um... <sighs> I, I I appreciate what you did for me in the fight with Bazophon. Um, but maybe don't do it again. <sighs> I mean, I did sort of owe you for beating the shit out of you on multiple occasions. <laughs> Not really. Oh, yeah, because you were never going to pull the fucking, oh, you beat the shit out of me, you owe me card. Not for, like, a few months. I... I feel like every time we do something that's either important or stupid, I am constantly reminded that a lot of you are very fucking fragile. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. You're really fucking powerful, and magic's beyond me, and all of that shit, mm. but everyone seems to get the shit kicked out of them a lot, and other than maybe Jax, you're all a bit fragile. And... I worry a little that I like I'm I'm great I'm fucking grand like I can take a beating you know I'm basically fucking unkillable but I can't be everywhere I, mean, I don't think you can argue that now <sighs> Feel like I can. I don't know. I don't know. I. I don't know if there was something I could have done that would have made things go differently, and that pisses me off. You couldn't. Survivor's guilt is. Common side effects of losing someone in such a way. Mm. Didn't get much sleep last night myself, but I feel like maybe if I would have used my spells differently, I would have been able to keep yeah, everyone I... alive. But it's, it's it's no point in thinking about it too much. It happened, and it was so much fucking adults. easier when you were all just a fucking meal ticket. I didn't have to give a shit. Yeah, I didn't see myself in this position when I left the Feywild. Even a Lazarin's become intolerable. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what like actually... a Lazarin's actual reaction? Just like, oh, it's just not like, the fuck did I hear? <laughs> <laughs> And as your short rest comes to an end, Righteous uh, gets up from from the from sitting down. All right, we're ready to uh, venture on. Yeah. 
Chris Willoughby. Right. Repairs have been completed. Very good, very good. Uh, <laughs> and he leads the way as you all continue onward. And once you exit the ravine on the other side, you can see in the distance a uh, a fort. Not a very big fort, uh, but... We call it a fuck you fort. Or no, <coughs> not quite. Not quite. Um, it's a small oh, two-level fort surrounded by this like crimson stone... The stone stone wall crimson colored uh and it's completely like think uh think helms deep it's like completely like so like the back mm. half completely surrounded by like rock and, and and natural the the fort is kind of like built into the rock formation that is like the ravine wall uh, and stuff like that so the only real entry point is from the front there's no like way to sneak around unless you manage to dig through fuck loads of uh, of actual rock you can do it uh and you kind of Head on drew it. <laughs> towards it, and as you head towards it and get closer and closer, I suggest we'll, uh, given that there's a cutoff in a, f in a, in a little bit, uh, end it here and yeah. pick this up next week. Yeah. As you arrive Thanks, guys. at the Serpent Fort and get ready for the uh, the infiltration. Nick is Nick is Snake Fort. Oh, <laughs> watch out, dude. Holy <laughs> fuck. Uh, you gotta pronounce your it. It's too You gotta wow. enunciate oh. there. <laughs> Whoa! Sneaky, oh, sneaky, oh, sneaky. Oh, we were using any was... automated caption software Dude, that could get real auto dicey. Auto it was no one there. No, fucking but auto captions would have fucked you, bro. No, um... <laughs> it's so fucking canceled. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. <laughs> thanks for my players to be oh. here, and uh, and everyone. You guys are lovely, and I hope you had fun. Uh, thanks so much for the fucking gifts and, and bits, guys. What the fuck? You're welcome. I've changed Jesus. my mind. I want a Frick. combat heavy campaign. I don't like feelings and RP anymore. That's the best part about it. <laughs> 11 <laughs> subs more. and 400 bits. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, we'll be here on Thursday with a discourse. Um, so, could you have time on Thursday, bro? So, I get off work at 3. 3. Oh, so I get off at so 3. I'm home at like 3.34. Mm. So it would be a little late for you. A little late. It would be a little late. Mm. Uh, yeah, that'd be like 10 p.m. for you, Dutch. You yeah. could always do it on a different day again. Yeah. Um, I have Wednesdays off. Wednesday discourse, I guess. Wednesday whiskers. You down for a Wednesday discourse? I, 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 I could do Wednesday. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Uh, ah, dude, Bell, you busy Wednesday? Um. Let me. No, I think I think I'm free. Uh, I, I, think, like, I, I think like, I can make time in it. You know, I feel like, especially like surrounding Daigon, uh, you know, Jax wrote that <laughs> note that we can maybe talk about a little bit, and then... Oh, we don't need to talk about Kess! Kess speaks for offering itself, like. oceans. I'll talk about that. Yeah, if we, if we can do a Wednesday discourse with uh, with Bella and Sokwa, that'd be great. It'd be dandy. Yep. Um, so with that, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Catch you guys on Wednesday for Dungeon Discourse. And if not, we'll catch you Sunday for the next session of uh, Dungeon Select. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh and on Saturday. Next Saturday. Oh, also, Saturday Dutch and I playing? have our next Nether Deep episode. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. If you want to watch that, you should come join because they're in the second part of a really cool dungeon crawl. And I really fuck like the fork, part that's coming up. Fork. We're going to talk to a statue that has a fucking fork. door in its gut or whatever the fuck. And makes weird yeah. noises. <laughs> and makes weird noises. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. Take care. Later. Bye. Du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. Now slowly, like, fade out. Just like...